<laughs> I have that one too. Um, if you guys are just joining us, the party is in a land called Barovia. They have all arrived here by different means, but have come to the same conclusion that they, and indeed their souls, are stuck in this evil demiplane. Um, you have also learned that the ruler of this realm is a ancient vampire uh, named Strahd von Sarovich. They had a fortune telling, revealing the location of three powerful artifacts, and to the uh, due to some luck, a little bravery, a um, little, you know, misdirection, they have recovered all three of these artifacts, and then they gave one away. But um, that's neither here nor there. They have the, they still have the holy symbol of Ravenkind and the sun sword in their possession, two very important, powerful artifacts. They have also, they also were foretold that they would find an important ally uh, to aid them in the fight against Strahd. They have found this ally in Esmeralda Davenir, a protege of the famous monster hunter, Rudolf von Richten. So the party now, after recovering the sun sword, is still in the Amber Temple. A number of the characters have sort of given themselves over to these dark powers, at least briefly, to receive a gift from them. Sivor, the human monk, is now possessed of skeletal wings. And um, <laughs> both uh, Maris and Joswaldo have remarkably fine complexions. Um, there are some other gifts that have gone around, and the voices still sort of whisper and call through the walls of the Amber Temple. But now... That's where we pick up, having just left one of these amber vaults in the lower portion of the Amber Temple. My friends, what do you do now? Cyvor is still standing atop the head of the giant statue in the main room too. And there's an enormous amber golem just staring him down. I think the question of what is done next should actually be put to Cyvor since he's been up there for a while doing nothing for the rest of us. So why don't you talk to him for a bit? Yeah, Cyvor, have, um, what, uh, what have you been up to? Well, so in the most epic staring game of a uh, staring contest of Barovia, uh, I, I have attempted to fly down to the ground to see if my amber giant will follow me. Okay. Just, um, can you, you see the map at the moment right I can. here? Or yes. There? Yeah. All right, I, I, go know ahead. I'm, I know I'm not there, but I, I just, I, I envisioned this all week and I have to maybe sort of meta suggest it. Don't you have reach with your whip? Oh, oh, absolutely I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you whip the thing from the top of the statue? Whip oh. it to death. <laughs> yeah, but that's... Would but be th good. Yeah, yeah, death like, by a thousand <laughs> No, that's, that's been me. It's been me the whole yeah. week. It's just... <laughs> Why would you die? <laughs> oh, I'm starting to burn. I'm gonna switch to my left hand. <laughs> no, yeah, no. So uh, my 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 plan is to try to lure, see if he will be dumb enough to follow me down to the ground. So I I leap off the so I leap float down to the ground and be like, come on, come on. All right. It will look down off the ledge to you, and its eyes will begin to glow a bright red. Not oh, that's, good. that's not good. And <laughs> uh, if you would please, oh, I can drag your token on there. You scared that's, my bird. Oh, no. We'll put a Cyvor maybe right here as he's just jumped down, and we will <laughs> start off this session right oh. with some initiative. Amazing. May we all roll DM? Yes, um, I'm going to um, allow you guys in. Uh, let's say, it sounds like you've been, this was a staring contest going on for a while, right, Cyvor? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, um, round two, we will add the rest of um, the group. I was at the end of the issues downstairs um, was, uh, angrily stomping back up the stairs 
and in a bit of a fiery mood. So I'm I'm ready to smack <laughs> some shit. Yeah, I don't think I ever left the stairs totally. Uh, all right. Down the... All right. 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 <laughs> Let us. Oh well, that was. Here, I went ahead and rolled initiative, and I'm not even on the board yet. Yeah, you are. What I'm looking at. Here we go. It's because you're camouflaged. <laughs> right? Yeah, you're just gray on gray. Yeah, you're we, right we need another. We need another uh, token from you there. <laughs> Part of my natural figure. plumage. God, guys, come on. <laughs> you look incredible. You don't have plumage right now. You just have like bloody stuff. You still look incredible. <laughs> you have to imagine the plumage. Incredibly bloody. Thanks, Athelflaed. Thank Wink. you. <laughs> it's like, not insecure about my for. wings or anything. No, they're, they're beautiful. They're beautiful in a uh, ter terrifyingly beautiful. What All a right. Sight to behold. So we'll put you in there with a twenty. Yeah. And it will be your go. All you see is its eyes begin to glow red. Okay. Uh, as its eyes begin to glow red, I am going to go ahead and take my. Uh, I'm going to take my movement to dash uh, around. Well, I, I should not dash. That's silly because I have like 50 movement. So I'm just going to uh, fly myself to the opposite side of the statue here. So let me go ahead and electric boogaloo that. All right. DM, I, I don't seem to have control. Oh, well, hang on. All right, drag it on again. Um, yeah, yeah. So when you fly, is it like the wings beating with like a sort of a clacking clittering sound clittering. yeah it is uh, there it is again it... <laughs> clattering <laughs> clacking sound or is it um <laughs> or do you just sort of extend them and just <laughs> so I, I guess it depends on like do you have turbo how lift? <laughs> far i'm going yeah so i imagine like with my monk speed i can get a good glide going and just kind of like <sighs> like sail along um but i also fly on the wings of love so that's how that works on the wings of love. Oh my god. You are the wings okay, of cool. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, so we're off to a strong start. Yeah. So I move to, move to the other side of the statue and hopefully am not killed. Okay. <laughs> you hear it um, jump off and it hits the ground with an, a resounding thud. Well, oh, I got him down. It looks and it comes around the corner here and let's see. Thumps you to death. Yeah, right. It is going to, its eyes are going to flash even brighter. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. It rips your wings off. Uh, the, oh, no. <laughs> oh, I my would God. Don't I say would, that. I would hate that. All right. So, wisdom saving throw. Come on, monk ability. Don't. Oh, God gods in all the heavens all right uh so let's see that was a seven all right sure that you passed. are sure did not um <laughs> <laughs> you are under the effect of a slow your speed is halved oh okay. um you cannot take reactions uh-huh and uh, you can't make more than one attack on your turn, and you can either take an action or a bonus action on your turn, not both. And then it will close the distance to you. What sort of anti-monk magic is this? That's horrible for right. monks. <laughs> oh, it's out man. to get you. Um, you guys then hear this enormous <laughs> um, thundering what, what sound. I suppose. I don't know, but you look amazing. Oh, no, you look amazing. Oh, no, you. No, I mean, really, Maris. Wow. Oh, okay. So we should Anything probably else we'll from Jeswaldo? Wow. <laughs> oh, I miss you up. Just kidding. <laughs> fair. 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 <laughs> fair. It's fair. Um, mm. Jeswaldo just sort of starts um, leisurely uh, walking up the steps. Uh, what does. Oh, that kid. Oh, <laughs> Ah, he just runs and opens the door and then slowly opens the outer door. Cyborg? Cyborg? I guess he took care of it. And I think I have enough room, enough movement to actually step out. But that is all. Um, would I be able to see the golem? 
Um, it's tall. Maybe just the top of its head, but you're think of yourself. You're thirty feet up. Right. So, um, what, what is that? <laughs> How Cyborg? tall is the statue? Um, uh, maybe just the side of it. Then, yeah, it's it's forty. F- uh, 40 feet tall. No, no, the, uh, I'm sorry, not the statue, the, the amber golem. Uh, it is 10 feet tall. Okay, thank you. Is the rope that we use to, um, climb up still there? I don't see why not. Oh. Elimus? Um, uh, Jeswaldo will hold his oh, action sorry. to, uh, to throw, um, a dart if he gets a clearer shot at the golem. Okay. Um, sorry, I didn't realize you still had an action based on how you were describing your turn, but that is good. Uh, what would you define as a clearer shot? Exiting three quarters cover, or uh, yes, exiting three quarters cover. Although, um, let me look at both maps. It could be that I needed to use all my movement to come up during that. Um, I don't see both maps. Um, I think I would have needed all my movement, so I don't have an action to hold. Sorry, I'm okay. done. Uh, Elimus. Elimus takes his reaction to pinch Jeswaldo's bum. Because he quite fat. No, he doesn't. Um, um, well, I will just move right. up. Um, I'll no shield. I like that. Amazing. <laughs> I stand it. <laughs> and then I use my action to, to pinch Maris's bum. Um, <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, no, he will just... Um, I mean, I'm assuming we're still downstairs. Are we not? Yeah, um, we were downstairs. I was on the way yeah, back up. I'll spend my... I mean, obviously, I don't know where we were. I'll spend my, tu- my turn to say, get to here. I don't I don't know where we would be. Move, m- okay. m- move um, action. I-, I figured you guys had started to come up the stairs. Oh, okay. So if you want to start your movement from, from this landing, from that's there. fine. Because this area here is already like... It, this is the entrance okay. to that tomb. So you guys would have been standing on this staircase anyway. So... Instead of the start of your movement from there. So 30 would get me to there. Um, 35, 40, 45, 50. I will just stay here. That's my move and action, really. That's me done. Alrighty. Bring Cyvor back into the initiative order here, because I deleted the other token. And it's going to be Cyvor's go. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, since I can only use an action or a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and take my dash to fly straight back up to the top of the statue and land there, knowing that I will be hit with an attack of opportunity, I imagine. Um, you do not have enough movement, I don't think, to get to the top of the statue. With So if it's my, my speed is halved. It's 50, so 25 doubled is 50, right? You can take one action. Are you not using a disengage? Oh, I'm not using a disengage. I'm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. no. I fully expect to take an attack of opportunity, which is far better than just letting me be a, a campa pummeled to death. So. The burb will get bopped. Yeah. All right. Um... Oh. Shh, it's okay. <laughs> he is going to attack you. He is going oh. to try to grapple you what? and just snatch you out of the air. We need an opposed check. Okay, what is my opposed check? Um, it is a uh, ath- acrobatics or athletics check. Acrobatics it will be. All right. All right, so I roll. I roll a 20, dirty. All right. Um, you're good. Despite his remarkable yes. strength, he rolls a 10. Oh. Imagine I do like a six spiral on the way up. Just like, oh. <laughs> Not quite as fast as you, um, yeah, as you like would a... like, though. All right. All right. So, and then I, I land on top of the statue. Mm hmm. Um, and then. Uh, DM, do I get to roll to try to break the slow again, or am I still slowed? Yes. Uh, let's double check here. Yep, you can repeat the saving throw. Oh, thank God. All right. Come on, saving throw. A 16? It's a fail. Oh, f- <laughs> So he lands and he's just like, help me. So that's my turn. Uh, uh, sorry, Athelflaed. So many A names. <clears throat> Call us the A team. 
<laughs> so, thank you, thank you. So, I was like halfway. I never went fully down, so I was like halfway up. So, I don't have anything that I can do other than run out. Because that'll be my... That'll be as far as I can get on a dash. And that's it. Okay. Nothing exciting that time. This is no fun. <laughs> the Sorry. golem will... <laughs> which, if you want to take that um, action, Jaswaldo, um, no longer three quarters. We determined that I didn't have it to take because I... Oh, doubled. of course. Thank you. Um, it will then turn back and look at the three of you, which it can see with its height now that it's here. Uh, and I need wisdom saves from Athelflaed, Joswaldo, and Alimus. No, I've got my eyes closed. Hmm. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Huh? I've rolled a 14. Let's see, um, I'm gonna use my fail in our... whoa, 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 whoa. I was oh, gonna use okay. my flesh okay. before yeah, you yeah, said I, that. Yeah, I call it. I call it fast. I call it fast. <laughs> oh shit! Sixteen. <laughs> Still a fail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are now all under the effect of slow. Shit. Oh, and it's it's here. After this um large um noise you can also see a glowing sort of um, light green sickly light begin to emanate from this door and this begins to sound uh, that you can just barely hear those of you with high passes can you clarify which door that is that i pinged on the secret level that would be this door and the source of it will become abundantly clear as um, coming to investigate into the main room appear to be the three things that you were Shit. speaking around before. Claire, it's your turn. Okay. Well, I will come out over here. Peter, and were we within range of our paladin when we had to make those saves? You were not. I was Damn. all the way back here. Sorry. Um, I will Eldritch Blast the... I will Eldritch Blast the Amber Golem. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> if I can. Give it a try. That's nice. 18 hit it does okay so 14 force damage and a second blast coming in possibly nope unlikely <laughs> uh that 11's gonna be a negative that's all right i'm happy with that thingy <laughs> um and i'm gonna yield maris if you got anything in the tank i could use a patch up but this is like Baldur's Gate, where you get like an extra plus one for being high, right, DM? Also a negative <laughs> Ghost Rider. Uh, all right. Anything from Claire? Uh, I'm good. Maris? Okay, I'm not muted anymore. Um, okay, so... Oop, bop. Um, so, Maris is going to exit the room to get to her comrades. Um, how can I get far enough that I can at least see the three of them? How far can I? You can, yeah, you can, you can get to certainly with inside of the three that, that you mentioned, yeah. Okay, well, I also, <laughs> I wanna be able to less cyborg, but can, do I have enough movement to, like, push through this group at the door? Unlikely no? to be able to do so with an action. Okay. You're looking at getting um, up to about this, through this doorway with your full movement, and then okay. you can see your companions from here, which is all the further you can go, and then yeah, 
but Cyvor, unfortunately, you cannot see. Okay. Um, so Maris has heard Claire call out for assistance. And so we'll cast, let me see, just cure wounds. Uh, you that's a requires a touch. Ooh, and dang it. Okay. Yeah. Well, then she won't do that and she instead will cast healing word. All right. Okay. And she got 11 points. Of 11 hit points. Yeah. Gotcha. And that is I guess Maris's turn. Jeswaldo, you feel slow. Saivor, take cover. And I point at the um, the uh, skeletons and I grab Ethelflaed and pull her back. And I look over my shoulder at Claire. Sorry. And I pull her into the room with me and shut the door. Oh my, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> Did Ethel Flad, you can sense to being pulled into the room. I got a question. As, as much as anyone can. Yeah. And what's it's up, very, like, very important can... to that decision. Because I was going to ask the same thing on my turn. Can we see them without dark vision? Yeah, I, I, I'm announcing it as I... Because I'm assuming I see the green flame and red. Oh, oh they are green glowing red. flames. Oh, yes. Good, yes. good, good, good. That's what I want. So I come in and we did fireballs hear the... incoming. And we did hear okay. the whispers, right? Like that's. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> All righty. Um, I will leave. I will leave the door. Fireballs would go around the corner, right? If I left the door cracked so that Claire could get through, would we take damage from fireballs? If fireballs, if like three fireballs blasted right there. How many fireballs has just Waldo been hit by? Um, so far, twice. Two. Um, you are high enough level character to, and probably if not a high intelligence score, a savvy enough adventurer to know that this spell, ubiquitous and very dangerous, does spread through any opportunity, any opening right. to I fulfill its the, casting radius. I close radius. the door. All right. <laughs> Elimus. Why didn't this loop? Okay. Um, it's getting more intense, so. That's my sound effects for the spell that's about to come. Um, how far are they from me? Um, let's do a little measurement. Looks about 130 feet, 125. We're slowed as well, aren't we? You are. Damn it. Okay. Just while though you can repeat your saving throw once your turn ended. Oh, thank you. Uh, um. With a 14, I do not think that it saves. You are still slow. That screwed me. Okay, um, if we if I know a fireball's coming after him saying that, I'm gonna move back then, so. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I'll hide in the corner. That's my move done. I can't do anything else. Uh, you have an action now? too, but you just have half your movement. Okay, I've just moved. Your 20. movement is halved, just yeah, so I'll you I'll know. I've just moved 25, so that'd be my full action then. Oh, okay. All right. Um, gotcha. And i got to make a save, yeah? Mm-hmm. God, oh, that screwed me there. I failed. You are still slowed. Cyvor. All right. So I want to fly from the top of the statue to try to grab. And this is uh, this is Claire, right? The The current character only outside okay so i want to fly straight towards her and try to like grapple tackle and head towards the door um 
but so I've got like a 25 foot speed that'll get me to the doorway there. Um, and then uh, DM, is it even possible to do that with my slowed status? Um, you would need to use an action to grab Claire to take hold of her and to try and drag her anywhere. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so I can fly to here, and then, so if I land here, can I use my action to then, like, push her towards the door? Or try to get towards the door? Um, well, for one, the door is closed. You see that Jaswaldo closed the door on his way oh, in. Oh, okay, okay, so it's already closed. Sorry. You could potentially try to shove her, but it would probably only push her about five feet. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, what is your strength score? <laughs> it is monkish. Uh, it is uh, 12. Yeah. yeah. DM? Okay. He's, she's sturdy. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, no. DM, uh, was I within the aura of our paladin in order when um, when I got to remake my saving throw? Uh, you end it, you get it to do it when you end your turn. So I would say, what's your aura, um, Claire? 10, 10 feet. feet. 10 he's, feet. A, he's 15 feet away. I'm out. Negative on the save buff. You left her <laughs> to dry and, and don't get the buff. I I, I saved the I saved the ranger. Yay. She's Yay. more dexy than me. I could have saved. Oh, there's a higher higher right? chance of getting those. Yeah. So uh, DM is it is it possible for me to make a break like for, like for the doors open them and get through them with my movement? Isn't it usually an action to open a door? It's a free action, but um, yeah. opening and closing a door. He just opens um, it up. We're coming in, guys. I mean, all right. I, I'm not exactly close, sure how then, to. Like, uh, I could have my turn with the door open. Like, yeah, right. Don't open the doors. <laughs> not if we can't. Uh, it would them. be a free action if you dashed. You could open the door. Okay. So, uh, Cyborg is going to dash. Uh, through the doors to get to the, like all the way back here in the corner. So he, he'll wind up there. Let me take control of it. So I'm going to dash to there. Boom. Th and then that'll get me through the doors. Boom. And then I'm going to turn and be like, Claire's still out there. Claire's still out. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Claire's still out. If those five was coming now, I'm dead. And then that's. So that's it. For me, uh, except for my save, yeah. Um, yes. Yep. Yes. All right. Oh, you bastard! All right, so that's a seven. <laughs> so that's a that's a clear still out there. Shut the door, you. <laughs> Thought you were gonna what? say something else. What? <laughs> <laughs> Um. Uh, can I cast my hunter's mark and then shut the door? It's got to be A or B. Or um, can I can I cast that and then tell? No, you can. You get the the item interaction. I will call it um, to uh, close the door or open it on your turn. Yay! Then I would like to cast my hunter's mark on the. Let me zoom out my map. Wait, are you I can are you slowed? Yep. Yep, so you're using your bonus. I gotcha. Yep, yep. They got me. And you're casting it on what? The the golem or that thing? What's the range on your hunter's mark? It is eternal. <laughs> uh shit, it's not gonna be long enough. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Range area is self, so I'm gonna say eternal. Mm. For Hunter's Mark? No, I mean Hail of Thorns. God, I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> this thing. Hail of Thorns, not Hunter's Mark. Okay, if you That's are slowed. Fault. Okay, you can cast that on yourself, but you could not make an attack at the same turn. That's fine. Okay, so you I cast. Will. I will cast uh, the correct spell for okay. Hail of Thorns for the All next right. time that I hit somebody, and cool. then I will shut the doors. 
Okay. Very slowly, but solidly. Uh, Casimir will um, say, are you sure she may die? There's gonna be like fucking crispy Claire when you get out there. <laughs> mm, crispy Claire. I mean, I'm, I'm racking my brain to try and think what we could do. I mean, we slowed. We could. Athelflaed, you can make a wisdom no, just, save at the I'm, end of your I'm turn. I'm gonna make my saves and we'll see what fucking happens. Like that's that's I all mean, there is. It's it. We're 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 screwed by the initiative order. Is what's going on. I fail. Indeed. Yep. Um, he will cast. It'd be great if he had to spell magic. He will cast greater invisibility on Jeswaldo. I hope you can do something useful. Oh no! Oh no! And then it oh, is. You. But before Claire gets to roll, okay. Pixie Quinn is coming clutch. <laughs> With 500 bits. So if you haven't Oof. got inspiration, you can roll it. This is so for the D20 things. inspiration. And let's hope that the players get it. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, good on you, Cyborg. I was yeah. gonna, I was gonna gift mine to Claire. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, now it's now, we have a tie. now it's getting it's very fight. cat like fighting. So you two have oh, got to roll again. You already have one, Liz. You're muted. Oh wow! <laughs> You're still muted. <laughs> hi, yeah, no, you were totally right. Oh my god, hi. Um, yeah, no, I I didn't get one this time. So, Have you got a D20 right. inspiration, though? No. no remember? Okay. Uh -uh. Okay, <laughs> okay right, so, so you two so need so to roll again. Roll All off. Right. All right. Let's do it. All right, Cyborg, it's on. I believe in you. Oh. oh. Remember, oh, if you have so got inspiration, right. there is a tick box inside D&D Beyond where you can tick it. <laughs> well done. Ooh. So well done, well done. Maris. Maris is one. Thank you very much, Pixie. Yay. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yay, Pixie. Okay, carry on. Yay! Well, I don't Good know. luck, oh, Elena. Not, yeah, we're all pulling for you, Claire. The Ember Temple start, or the Ember Temple. The Ember Golem starts oh. to run this way. The temple starts running. What? <laughs> Thank God. I need Barovia. three dexterity saving throws. No. Oh come on. Okay. Okay. Gift her all the inspiration. Oh, fuck me sideways okay do you, well, get, do I you get your own plus four you don't do you it's already um, oh wow well, like, oh, it's already on yeah. so can we give her inspirations yeah yeah well, normal inspiration i inspire can. thee but has the to 10 has already roll. been rolled all right before okay. the roll. but well, if anyone wants to give her it before the rest she makes the next roll it's up to you she's got to make yeah. three of them i uh Okay, I have a question, DM. Hmm? Is it, should we be rolling the damage successively? Because I don't know if it matters if I say go down in the middle of this. Like, so I just failed one. And even with the D6, well, I don't think with the D6 inspiration I'm going to be able to make it, so I'm going to hold on to that. Oh no! But, oh no! Like, I, yeah, I just don't know. Should you roll the damage before I roll the next one? Is my question. Pick Pixie's Pixie's. Oh, just we can done go one by one if you'd like. Pixie's um, done another five hundred. So the first one is going to be um, <laughs> that that fail is going to uh, grant you thirty-one points of fire damage. And before you roll the next one, everyone rolled a d twenty who hasn't got inspiration. <laughs> I keep rolling fours. What's happening <laughs> every time? I rolled a fucking one. Oh, just, it's like <laughs> just Waldo's winning it at the moment. Give it to Claire. Just oh. Waldo's coming in clutch. Thank you very much, All right. Pixie. So I'm I'm standing with my back against the wall, thinking like, come on, Claire, you've got this. And I'm sending her all the inspiration I have. So take an inspiration on the next roll. Thank you. Can Maris also send her inspiration? So you, um, oh, just one at a time. 
Okay. Question. Um, so this is, I roll the 20, and then if I don't like the roll, before you tell me what happens, I roll again. That's, that would be, um, <clears throat> that Lucky. would be bardic inspiration. That'd be luck. You have to decide on the roll that you're going to roll it with advantage. Okay. You cannot see the result of the advantage. die 20. <laughs> okay. Okay, like okay, better. okay. Better. Okay. Take half of 24. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I'm down. Oh, wow. Oh, really. shit. Um, do I count negative here? Um, no, uh, I don't think it, unless okay. it, unless it did um, your current hit point plus your max in damage, but I'm quite sure it didn't do that. So I don't have the opportunity to make the third save. So what happens? Um, it's not like that one. Yep, you fail a death saving throw. Okay. Save me. <laughs> so this, we're just all we're just all back there. We just. Oh crap! Oh, guess what? It's my turn next. Don't roll one, Claire. Can I give her inspiration? Yes. yes, you can use it. Yes, I would like to use my inspiration and give it to Claire. I'm having a great night, guys. Oh, Pixie's coming again. It can again. only get better. This is for you, Peter. Is this just D20s or is this uh, Constitution? Oh my God, Pixie! I just like hella blanked. Wait, what's what's for me? Uh, you got to you roll. just roll a D10. There's no bonus to it unless you're blessed. Or you can use Bardic Inspiration on it. D20, D20, right? D20, yeah. yeah. D20. So okay, you can so use, I'm going to roll two D20s. And... Yeah. Uh, Peter, we've just been gifted another thousand bits for a healing potion by Pixie. So you need to okay. roll that. <laughs> oh. I make my save. <laughs> Yay. Also, it was almost a 20, which would have been amazing. I, that's a one. That's a one on the... Um... So who has it? Has anyone yeah. been given healing potions? Remember, you've got healing potions that get gifted by people. So remember, you've got them. So who, who's, who's I got drank, I drank mine from last time. I'm going to say, uh, I don't have any. Wait, how do I check that? It would be, be in your equipment. equipment. Cutie if you've cutie. added it Cutie. since you've yeah. got them, so. <laughs> If you get gifted one, you need to add it into your equipment. Okay. Um, who's getting uh, it, Peter? It's up to you. Oh, uh, Ethelflaed, take it. Perfect. There we go. It's a normal, okay. normal healing potion, I think. Yeah, Maris, you're up. Okay, uh, Maris can see Claire still, correct? The door is closed, you cannot. God damn it. Um, okay, so can Maris open the door? I believe you can get up to the door and open it. Okay, so. Um, yep. And is that then my action? or no? Uh, nope. Excellent. That is your one free action. So Great. So Maris is sensing that something has gone horribly wrong and runs up to the door and pushes it open and sees Claire prone, I'm guessing. Um, and she casts beep boop bop. Healing, no, prayer of healing on Claire. That is a 10 minute casting time. I Good believe. grief, you're so right. Damn it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, <laughs> I want to do a good one, but that's like my best one that I have, but it's only not enough time. Okay. So the best thing I have then instead is healing word. And so I'll cast that. That works. Okay. So 14 points of healing. All right. Claire, you feel alive or conscious at least. And crispy. Mm. Conscious and crispy. Yum. I believe that is all Maris can do out of yeah. movement now. Um, yeah. Considering you moved up to here, I believe, and opened the door. Yes. And Claire. All right. Jeswaldo. Or Maris was not 
Were you slowed, Maris? No, I wasn't. Okay, you could you could use your turn as normal then. Um, so you could ha- use more movement and uh, full action if you want. Oh, so she, great. So um, could she have got I... up and done cure wounds? Potentially, if she wants to go out there. Well, you know I do. <laughs> so I am going to go to Claire. Okay. And so I, but I can't cast Cure Wounds now, correct? Because I've already. Uh, well, it was my bad for saying that you had, you could only, you couldn't get in touch range. Now that you can, um, we can re-roll the um, casting as a. Uh, as a Cure Wounds? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Don't charge the spell slot and roll it. All right, I will do that then. You get two 16. more hit points, Claire. Yeah, two more. <laughs> that was a really good healing word, so. Yeah, it um, paid off by two anyway. points. I believe that brings us to Jeswaldo. All right. Um, am I right in thinking that I could get out and I could pull Claire back in, but I could do nothing else? Uh, with your movement, ha- what's your movement again? It's 30. 10, so yeah, you could move here. Uh, you could pull her back one square, I guess. You could move her one square, I think. Am I seeing that right? One or... So I would count that as difficult to drag um, the... Okay. Um, so you're saying I could go out and pull her back, but I couldn't then close the door also? Or could I? Um, while slowed. All right. Uh, so how, so moving 10 feet up to Claire, um, oh. pulling her back five feet, right? Cause that's mm-hmm. your but full that, movement. Then I guess I, that wouldn't put her in the, in the doorway. Correct. Then. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. You have 15 feet of movement. That's where it gets a little hairy. All right. Um, all right. So I'm invisible. I'm going to run out and I'm going to come to the side here. Can I, uh, jump to the statue? Uh, you can try. How far is it? So are you using the dash action then? Yeah. Uh, it's about a, um, let's see. Uh, so that's the top of this. The shoulder is probably another five feet up from where you are. It's a 40 foot statue. Um, and at least ten. Can feet I? Out. Is there any part of the chap, the, the statue that I could jump onto? I it's, have. I can. I can jump will, ten feet without having to yeah. roll. But making a making a acrobatics check to be able to um um to cool. to do this. Eighteen. Um. Yes. It will require obviously the full movement of the dash to right execute. And so then I you will, can. I will as I'm walking going by Claire. I say, Someone get her up, and I will jump into the arms of the statue, I guess, and that'll be me done. Okay, uh, roll a. You can roll the save again. Thank and you. And then it's Alimus. God, I need to keep remembering to be within ten feet <laughs> of Claire that. when I roll the damn save. Ah, uh, dumb, 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 dumb. Come on, where's that save? Oh God. Nope. <laughs> Um, okay, so I can move half my movement, yeah? Yep. Um, so 5, 10, 15. Obviously can't see the creatures. Oh, God, this is such a high-level spell for what it is. Last round, it would have done so much better. Um, he will cast a spell. Glacius Burum et Dolores. And a dome of ice will engulf Claire and Maurice protecting them from the fireballs alright what spell is this wall of ice okay please don't try and break through it because you'll die <laughs> good to know <laughs> uh, please if you if you would please draw where it is that's not um... damage that I'm casting by the way on them <laughs> I just cast the spell to take it off. Um, how do I add the damage? I mean, it's a dome. Let me just quickly read it. 
you can create a wall of ice within the range. You can form it into a, a dome with a radius, radius of up to 10 feet, or you can shape it, shape a flat surface made up of 10 feet. So I just put it over the top of them to protect them. Um, okay, so it looks like it's, so oh, sure. it's up to 10 feet. Okay, so just a dome around them. Got it. Yes. And then I would say, shut the door. Mind you, that dome would actually block the door, I'm thinking. Uh, indeed, that it will. Uh, that's me done, and I will save. Oh, that's such a high level spell for that. Uh, 16 will save. Is that any good? Uh, that's a foul, it will. It? It will fail. Okay. Cyborg. Right. So there's a giant dome of ice. So Cyborg is going to like attempt to like move up to here. But upon hearing Alimus say like, don't touch it. Uh, he's going to, he's going to just kind of look around and be like, what, what do we do? How do we help them? And that's my, and that's my turn. <laughs> wow. Apple flood. <laughs> uh, so the dome is like 360 all around them. Correct. It's a, it's a dome. Yeah. And it's blocking the door. Like, I was like, yeah. so it's blo so yeah. I can't give her I can't give her my potion and I can't oh. do a battle action. Yeah, you can't see her. You can't see them. Okay. Then I can't do anything. Um, DM, what's the range or uh, Claire, what's the range <laughs> on your uh, goodness? Uh, 10 feet. Uh, 10 feet. I'm probably not close enough to you to get that. Do far. they have to be able to see or hear you? I think I just have to be conscious. Okay, just checking. All right. Is, ooh, is that is that ten feet? I think I might be fifteen, Peter. Uh, DM. But uh, you I are think fifteen we feet. Are 15. Yeah. Uh, well, then there it is. All right. So I roll with well, just the grace of the gods. Alimus right. will tell you you can punch a hole in it at your own risk. Twenty-one. You're no longer slowed. Yay! You jerk. And I'm stuck in a room. <laughs> Lima says you can more than well to punch a hole in it. Yes, yeah, Rob, this is you, Rob, this is you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, there's there's nothing I can do at all. Uh, shoot. Yeah, I guess hold my action uh, until. We've got at least two more fireballs coming, so. Yeah, but. There's nothing I can do with that ice in the way. No, that was three fireballs fired last round. So we got three more coming. Depends if they, yeah, it depends if they've got any more. If they have, then at least the dome will protect them and us. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. How does it protect us? It protects you against fire. Hang on. Alrighty. Um, Casimir's up. It's like, oh. Wait, 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 is the only way Alimus could cast this and not force you guys to make deck saves versus the spell's effect. Mm -hmm. I assumed that's what he would do. That was the plan. So yeah. you can't scooch any closer. This will indeed sort of occupy these spaces. I misunderstood, sorry. Yeah. No, you're fine. I was just clarifying. Um, it's, like, uh, I'm not moving anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very, I know. I was it's like, very, very, very cold. <laughs> yeah, you'll Are you be saying a bit it's cold. pretty cool? Cold. <laughs> Mm, All chilly. right. <laughs> it doesn't protect you against fire, but the fireball would have to damage the wall. It's vulnerable to fire damage. Yeah, but you just want to get away from the wall. Uh, from the front of it. Uh, you hear crap. stomping coming your way. Hmm. All right. And then you hear... Aha! The uh, 
flame skulls, it sounds like they start to um, uh, cackle with joy as they start to spit fire in the direction of the wall. First one, I believe you have AC 12, correct? Mm -hmm. I've got a 21 and a 22 to hit. It's going to take six damage from the first ray, so 12. It's going to take um, 10 damage from the next ray, which is going to be 20. You have 30 hit points per the, yeah. piece of wall, yeah? Yeah. All right. The next one is going to try to um, do the same thing. First one breaks through. All right. 11 fire damage. So there is now a hole in the wall. It's a Which, mist. Like, can I draw this? They can't see through it. What's that? It. They can't see through it. Is that true? It says. Uh, 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 one second. I think it says a frigid sheet of air. Yeah. I swear I've read that it does. Uh... Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. So there's going to be this hole right there. Mm, I've got targets for my second. You're back alive. You shouldn't be. Oh, but you're prone, aren't you? In that case, Maris. <laughs> Would the spell hit? Uh, the 24 to hit oh, with a fire ray? Uh, yeah, that hits. Pardon? Would the, yeah, that hits. Would their spell hit the ice that's there? It would. Your spell is much more powerful than theirs, and so even fire streaking through it, it kind of whoosh, dispels it for a moment, and then whoosh, you see this frigid air will remain for as long as the spell is up. Maris, take 14 points fire damage. Oh, I'm down. Really? Yeah, because I didn't have... I had, like, very few hit points coming out here. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This is a lot of oh shit. <laughs> I thought the spell stopped him from coming in. Um, all right. So. He is, the next one is going to cast Flaming Sphere and ram it inside there. Oh no, oh no. Let's find a little spell template for this. There is one there. Meanwhile, everyone fun. rolled a D20 for inspiration if they haven't got it. Thanks to Pixie again. If I gave it away, can I roll it again? If you've already given it away. 20. Yeah, I gave it to Claire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh did you it. actually give it to me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you, you have two people. Yeah, you used it on oh, a death okay. save. Oh, oh yeah. That's 20. Right. Got it. But Flad has got it. Thank you very much, Pixie. Yeah. yeah. Pixie, I finally got it. <laughs> I get to roll my d20, right? Oh, yeah. Roll a natural oh. 20, then. Yeah. 16. I Dude. still got it! Yay! <laughs> yeah. So there's a flaming sphere. I'm just going to double check on this. Uh, right, now that that Sorry, comes you through, just spell the wall? If anything comes through the wall, they take it takes damage. Uh, he's casting the sphere inside of it. Inside of it. Uh. Alimus, can you just spell the wall at any time? Yes. Um, it is going to ram you and make force you to make a dexterity saving throw, Claire. I believe you are prone. Yes. Make what does that mean? Save at disadvantage. Is that correct? Or am I making that up? I'd like to know before I roll. S key conditions. All right, <laughs> let's look. <laughs> yeah. Disadvantage on attack rolls. Uh, nope, never mind. You're good. Yes, come on. All right. You take half damage, which is going to be... Not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. Uh, half of ten, so you take five. Okay, I'm set up. All right. It is your turn? Question, DM. Yeah. There's three of them, yeah? Yes. So to break through the wall, two of them cast a spell. 
Uh, not exactly, but oh, okay. Uh, two of them used attacks. Oh, okay. What, the last one cast a spell. Yeah, and then so where's the flame sphere come? Is that come from the golem now? It's there are three creatures. Two of them. Yeah, because you've had hit, a you've hit Mer Meris as well. Yep. Yeah, but they have two. They each have two attacks. Oh, okay, okay. They can spit. Okay. And then the last one cast a spell. Cool. That's what's got me confused. Claire's turn. Jinkies. I am out of any healing, so I scream <laughs> through the wall. <laughs> Someone fucking heal her. I will then, as a bonus action, Misty Step. I don't here. Die. Okay. And attack They're with the Sun Sword. About 30 feet above you. Oh, then I wouldn't do that. It's fine. So. <laughs> you, you, well, the then. platform you're up here is 30 feet high. They are probably 35 to 40 feet up as they. That's annoying. Went out. Yep. Um, shite. Before you go anywhere, sorry to cut in again, but Peter, can you roll another D100? Thanks to, Imagine ske that. Thanks to Skeleton for the healing <gasps> potion. Thank you, Thank Skeleton. Thank you very, very much for the thousand Regular bits. Regular healing potion. And who has it? Claire, maybe? Uh, we will decide that after Claire's turn. Oh, <laughs> you. Oh. Tricky. <laughs> Um, I like it. <laughs> do I have a good enough shot at maybe this one to yep. not? It ended it, it. It was the one that blasted a hole in it, so it, yeah. it, and it stayed there after doing that. So, um, so pretty, really, all three it. of them are in pretty good range of you. So, okay, then I will. Uh, in I will. I'll Eldritch Blast then. Do it. 22 for seven damage. Okay. And another one. Uh, 10. Fortunately, the 10 will not okay. connect. Um, I, uh, can I see through the wall? Um, no, it is opaque. It is? Oh. Uh, you mean through the hole that they've made? Or you can no, see through the I, hole. I, I did mean specifically this, like the the body of the wall. It is okay. It's like an igloo. Yeah. Fuck. Um, I'm assuming I have to drop it on my turn. Yeah. I thought you could you can drop, drop it at concentration any time, but you probably don't know exactly what's going on. Well, she has shout. Yeah, no, that, she did shout. Totally fair. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's up to you though. You can drop concentration anytime. Yeah, I'll drop it then. So if that goes away, then I will grab Maris. If I'm dragging her, how far can I move? Um, you already used your action to Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Um, grabbing another character and pulling her would um, would be your action. Oh. Fuck me. Um. Then, Jesus Christmas, I don't even fucking know um, what to do here. I'm so sorry. Um, I will run my little paladin butt over here. Okay. Maris, I need a death saving throw. My gosh, it would be my distinct pleasure. Who has the health potion? That is a success. Good on you, ah, there, accidentally pressed it twice. Ignore the second one. All right, we'll ignore it. <laughs> who has um, who has skeleton's healing potion? DM. Um, that will be. We'll do that at random. Uh, let's see. Oswaldo, Maris, Athelflad, Cyvor, Delimus, Claire. Maris. <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Score! So great! And you automatically fail a deck saving throw, taking some damage at the beginning. 
of your turn Very and okay. thus fail a um a uh, death saving throw. What? Why? Yep. What I do? The flaming spear is, sphere is there. It's, so you it's very hot. Uh, asshole. I know, oh. right? Not you. No, the flaming Waldo, sphere. You're up. <laughs> Just, uh, DM, is this greater invisibility that I'm uh, enjoying? That's right. All right. So, Jess Waldo will look at the flaming spear. The, the, uh, and he'll, you flying flaming fucker. And he'll do a spin around with a throwing knife and it's a disadvantage because it's way out of range but I'm invisible so I believe it's a straight roll straight roll hitting AC 12 doesn't just doesn't quite do it it kind of oh, it's a moving target kind of hopping around like a floating skull would. Hey. Did, did I did I move the amber golem on their turn last I don't know I yeah. whistle and I make a big noise just hey over here Bong, 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 and I hit the statue. Right here, you fuckers! <laughs> and I'm going to move around behind it onto the other, sho onto the other shoulder. <laughs> All right. C so says you didn't move it. All right. Thanks. Uh, oh. Betrayed. Does it break through the floor? <laughs> no, but it comes to about there. Huh. No. Um. Oh, she. So, just while well, did you break free from slow? Did I ask that already? I forgot to roll. All right. You are still slowed, my friend. <laughs> Elimus. Um, I will point the ring at Maris. And whisper the words, uh, where is it? Da, na, 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 na. Anna, Amici, May. And cast Healing Word at first level, which is what, a d4 plus? Yep, what's what's Maris's modifier? Plus four. So go ahead and roll the d4, just yeah. uh, Elimus. Nice. Eight hit points back. Oh, Maris has eight hit points. Ah, now, thank you. Is that class as a bonus action? Then? Yes. I believe it takes the spell's regular casting yeah. time. Or is it the rings as an action? I don't know. I think it's the same as a scroll, where it just takes the spell's oh, okay. regular casting time. Um, God. And so, I can't, can't, so I can't do an action, can I? You cannot until you make your wisdom save. Uh, not much Come hang out do. with me. Oh, that's a good point. Five, 10, 15. This is the most I can move. And make a will save. Wisdom save, rather. 25. You're no longer slowed. Yeah. That's Cyborg's turn. All right, so uh, upon seeing like the shield go down and like the magic and all the healies and whatnot, Cyber's gonna like take the wings and just like run and jump and fly straight at these skulls. Okay. Uh, he's gonna, and I'll take, so that gets me my, so 50 feet puts me right there in front of them. Okay. Cause I'm, cause I'm flying. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna, cause I can fly. Cause I can uh, fly. And I'm gonna, Beat the holy out of these things as best hey, I can. Once they're dead, you should eat them. Mm, yum yum. Yeah. <laughs> because <gasps> gulls. I haven't dis I haven't discovered that yet, but oh no. man, that'll be so messed up. All right, cool. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait. He's running oh. over to him because he just sees burgers. I'm, just like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> he's <All right>. attacked <laughs> by steaks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, so DM, I'm attacking the one that I'm in front of. Uh, okay. I don't Say however you wish to. Uh, so whip coming out of nowhere with a twenty-five to hit. Sure thing. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. All right, and the damage is nine uh, magic silver slashy damage. Nine, so, Roger. Lovely. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and follow that up with the short sword. 
Which one's that on? Is that the one cast in the That's... flaming sphere? Um, that was, I believe, so. Yes, was awesome con saves here. Uh, only needed eleven, so he's got it. All right, and then the uh, hit him with seventeen with my short sword. Uh, he will use his reaction to cast shield. It will tink off. Ah, saucy. All right then. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my bonus action to use flurry of blows. So first one is a 18 to hit. Ooh, that hits exactly. Yay. Yeah. All right, so don't do the thing. Do the actual thing. All right, as I talk sweetly to my computer. Ah, ten, nice. 10 for that hit. Solid. Flaming sphere drops. And then uh, the second flurry of blows. Uh, 14 to hit. Um, no, will not hit. No, will not hit. Okay. Uh, so, and then I'm going to expend one final key point to do a stunning strike. So I need you to make a con save. It's got a seven. Uh, ah, DC's 14. So that target is stunned until the end of my cool. next turn. Nice. You see him just start to kind of... Spin circles in the air. <laughs> Sweet, <laughs> sweetening them up before you eat him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yum, yum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anything right. else? I feel it. No, I feel the, the tide is turning. I feel and, it. Here we go. And then, and then at that point, uh, Cyborg is like, you, he's just like, he's, he's really into like beating the crap out of these skulls. Like a little more vicious than you've ever seen him before. So and that's me. That's cool. Ethelflaed. That's, I mean, that's cool. Yeah. Pot shot this bitch really cool now. Uh, um, I would like to... Double check. I should have clear. Should I have? Oh, I don't. Um... Well, he's flying around. Can I shoot the rear skull while yep. missing Cyborg? Yes. I was like, he's weaving and dodging and bobbing. Yes. Um, so then... Which... They're strangely in sync with each other as a party of adventurers. <laughs> High five, everybody. Um, <laughs> then with my hail of thorns still active, I shall fire two times at that rear skull. Because I'm no longer slow. Yeah! Yay! The super hit. Sweet. Oh, that didn't give you damage. Okay. Uh, damage. Oh, it did give you damage, and I'm just rolled up. Okay, yeah. So, so ten plus the plus the spell that I just had on my screen. All right. So then, plus the one d ten to the other two within five feet. So go ahead. Oh, okay. Yep. Let's that see. One. Is that a deck save or anything like that? Or is it just, say no, just so it. that they get. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a deck save. Okay. Um, I have uh, a 23, a 10, and a 19. So, so 10 will fail, take the full. The other will will take two. This one's stunned, though. I think he automatically fails his deck save. It's a stunned target. This one takes two. Okay. And then I will just fire one last time at that final one. Why isn't it also giving my damage? That's annoying. No, it's good, because I, I like it that way. But 25 is great. Whatever, 13 is also great. I was going to say, I think a 25 will hit. <laughs> yeah, good damage on it. Anything else for you? Um, no, I will leave the door open. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, can I give my healing potion to Maris? Uh, As a bonusy, like just she's got one. To her. Did she get one? Uh, Maris oh, has one did. in her inventory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right. right. One, You're right. Never mind. Oh she yeah, that's the last right. One. Have you I was just well, unconscious for it? I was gonna yeah. help. <laughs> Have you put it into your inventory? Uh, yes. Wink. <laughs> I'll put it in now. Mine's um, in my inventory. 
Dangerous <laughs> butt. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, wow. Casimir is uh, gonna come around here and try and firebolt the golem. Oh god. It's gonna hit deal a um little bit of damage, I think. Yes. Five points of fire damage. And then he's gonna back himself up. And then the Ambralum. Ambra the wild. <laughs> I don't believe Maris has had a turn yet. I think you're still prone, correct? Uh, yes, I have not had a turn yet. All right. I'm going to slam. Oh, great. Hulk smash. No. So um, <clears throat> Want my healing potion now? <laughs> I will uh, have a critical hit to start. So you're going to so, take 35 points of bludgeoning damage? Yeah, I'm just passed out again. All right. Bye. And it's going to slam you day, again uh... for a 24. Please fail two death saving throws oh! as it puts its foot on you and <laughs> begins to shift its weight downward That's... onto Maris's chest. This it looks is... like she is barely taking in breath. Hideous. Great. <laughs> this guy's oh! stunned. Um, <gasps> Cyborg, mm, you're annoying. Oh, oh no. Here. Oh, no. I got your um, bone head. Pixie, pixie, pixie. <laughs> My flame skulls are smart former wizards. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Mm. Uh, Pixie's coming again. Everyone roll for advantage. Thank you very much, Pixie. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just not going to roll and hope that somehow, like, Maris gets something. DM. <laughs> yep. Don't What's up? Maris. <laughs> I think Maris is dead. What? Nuh uh. What are you talking about? Because I had gotten my. I had regained consciousness. Oh, regained consciousness. Yeah, she was oh. bad. Yeah. That's no, what I was yeah. like, oh, All right, cool. whoa. Oh. That's what I, was like, I thought that was three, too. She's okay. You're yeah, yeah. welcome. I thought that Ish. was three. I was, rem yeah. I, was remembering, I was remembering the failed because of the um, the flaming sphere, but you've been up since then. You've been yeah, I had eight okay, cool. whole points of hit points, okay? I am heck? very relieved. So, what the uh, hell, Jess Waldo? Yeah, why are you trying to kill me off? <laughs> Give me a fucking heart attack. You're just mad because now we're both equally pretty? Like, is that what this is about? Are we, though? Because when I'm standing, you're looking pretty bad. Okay, okay, you're dead. Does everyone <laughs> roll for inspiration? Ah, Liz has not. Liz was dying. Beep boop bop. Oh, Ethel Flag wins Ethel it. Flag got it. Yay! Thank you very much, Pixie. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I, I would have, I would have given it to you, Liz. I was, I was like, I'm gonna give it to Liz. <laughs> oh, it. Liz, it wasn't. It was very. Your actions were very noble. But I have smart enemies. Ugh. Why you gotta do me like that, man? Well, it'll She's be something for your allies attacks? to figure out. Oh, I don't um, like that. It is going to cast magic missile. <gasps> And you guys will see some arcane bolts of energy streak towards Maris, and you will see the foot sink a bit under her. As <gasps> a... you and then it steps back. <laughs> there is no more movement in her body. And the other flame skull will cast hmm, a flaming sphere at Cyvor. Okay. Oh, Liz. Cool, 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 cool. So sorry. So wait. Why was he busy? I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, Cyvor. As you see your your friend's breath leave her body behind you. Twenty-four. Uh, you take two points of fire damage. All right. And it is Claire's turn. With the uh, evasion, doesn't so, he get to on. take none? Oh, yeah. probably, yeah, you succeed. You take no damage. Uh, so also, is this a ranged weapon attack or? A... Uh, no. Oh, okay. I was just, I was just checking. I was just... He cast a spell. Okay. And that's... that sphere that you saw before is just sitting there burning. Bear. 
Um, it is Claire's turn. I scream and run at the golem. All right. Uh, do I have one of those? Do I have something that's uh, helpful here? Um, uh, yeah, um, I'll uh, hex blades curse this bitch. All right. Uh, and uh, roll attack with uh, my sensor. And I rolled Go a fucking for it. two because I'm apparently in a fury and can't see shit. Um, you have you have still got. Oh, uh, I do have a d6 of inspiration though, so you know what? Let's just toss that on there and see if that fucking helps. How's this? Uh, 16. 16's not gonna do it. Damn fucking tit shit everything. Okay. And we will go past Maris, unfortunately. I, I have, oh, I, I have got another attack. attacks, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'm, uh, I'm with you. So 18 to hit. Uh, so that's 11 damage. And do I have spells left with which to smite a bitch? Yes, I do. Um, have a second level. Did I in hit? Smite. Yep. Oh, did an 18? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's going to be an additional 3d8 of damage. Uh, so 22 damage total. Okay. Oh, but it has, I, I did Hexblade's Cursed, so that's an additional 3 damage. So 25 total. 25 total. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> People are asking how many bits to revive Maris. <laughs> Party's gonna have to figure that one out. No! Um, Just Waldo. <sighs> oh, God. Did I one like million. <laughs> um, I'm still slowed. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw the, um, another, my other, um, throwing dagger at, um, the stunned uh, one? Stunned one. Although it's not what I want to do, but the sooner we get Cyborg in this, the better. So uh, it's stunned. I'm out of range, so that's a straight roll, but do I get advantage because it's stunned? Uh, they all, ca any amount cancels each other out. You can have six advantages, and if you have one disadvantage, it's Got a straight it. roll. That I missed. Okay. Elimus. Um. This isn't looking good. Um, I will. I'm no longer slowed. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, how many attacks does that creature have? The golem. <laughs> Two. Um. Uh, DM, obviously I've cast spells on this golem before. Do I... I can't remember what if it was immune to spells or not. Uh, no, but it seems resistant. Resistant. Um, I... Oh God, I will you've seen it. it. You've seen fire damage damage it. You've seen cold damage damage it in the previous combats. And you've seen that, it, it, yeah. Okay. I will look at um, Sivor. Cyborg and the creatures he's fighting and whisper the words uh, 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 Tardis Autumn Cochlea and cast slow on them. Oh! <coughs> nice. Uh, it was them saves, yeah? It is indeed. Speaking of um, which, let me make mine to see if I break this. One is stunned. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if it won't make the fouls, probably not. Uh, which does not affect the wisdom saves. I'm sorry, just no, well, no, just well, that, yeah. unless you have any other way to affect it. Um, let's see, let's make some. Yeah, okay. Um, saves. Um, you hit the, the, the last one, the one in the way back has a 19. The other two is going to be 14 and 10. Okay. They are both slowed. They are slowed. 
Mm. They are snaily. Anything else? Um. No. Nothing else I can do. All right, Cyvor. All right, so I'm gonna move just over there, and then uh, attack my stunned. And, does slowed give me anything else? Or I guess it doesn't really matter because stunned. Advantage. Is stunned. Oh, lovely. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack the one who is stunned first. Oh, okay. But I'll do that. Uh, I probably didn't. Okay, so oh, you crit. You crit, buddy. Ah! That Yay! Was, we needed to see that. Yeah, we needed that. Oh, God, I have some. Roll okay. that damage. Okay, so the damage is what the. So it's that's two d six right there, but the that, crit. That didn't roll the the two. So that, yeah, that's um, just. If you click on the one that the crit, it should double the damage or double the damage dice for you. Oh. Wow. Go ahead and click the whip. Uh, that is oh, the got um, it. the I'll crit. There we go. That's right. a lot better. That's 12. a lot better. All right. What? 12 damage to that one. And then i uh, going to go ahead and follow up again with the Moon Touch Short Sword. Let's see if that's... There we go. Let's see if that'll do the thing I want it to do. A 25 to hit. Also a super hit. Lovely. Super International hit. super hits. International. <laughs> Cyborg the sings Green the Day super Greatest Hits album. And that... Will shatter this flame skull. Fan freaking tastic. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use I'm uh, doing unarmed strike as my bonus action to punch the one that is slowed in front of me. So uh, that's gonna be at advantage as well. Yes, DM. Yep. 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 Lovely. Let that show up. A 26 to hit. Hits. Lovely. Uh, and. Wow, that's a hell of a punch. Hell, sure is. And I'm going to go ahead and burn uh, against uh, one of my points to do a stunning strike on you. So roll a con save. Uh, monks. Um, coming at you with a 14. Oh, 14 is, uh, that's my, that's my, that's my Ooh. level. So does that mean you beat it? I do. Ah, oh. okay. Well, then. That'll, that's jazz, kids. So cool. Meanwhile, it's still yeah. a nice bit of damage. Meanwhile, Rolling again. Let's see. Thanks to Pixie. Um, no. yeah. Thanks to Pixie. No. Uh, we've got more inspiration. So Peter and I think I got it. Peter and Ryan haven't rolled yet. I don't think. Peter just rolled. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Pixie. Ryan. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got it. Well, Elena won it. Uh -huh. Thank you again. Apple Flat. It is your turn. Thank you, Pixie. Yay, Pixie! Yay, Pixie! Yeah. Um, Woohoo, Pixie. I'm going to cast Oof. actual Hunter's Mark this time on the Golem. Hunter's okay. Mark. And then I will fire at it. Hunter's Mark. And then plus two longbow. going to assume Dang. a 28 hits. <laughs> yeah. You assume correctly. Yay! Six plus your extra d6. So it's a nine. Alright. And then more of the same. Yep. It had ten hit points. I don't know how I'm doing these rolls, but I'm really You oh. see one, <laughs> the skull in front of you, Cyborg, shatters into a cloud of bone dust. I like. I think she was hitting the golem. Chunk of... I was. And the golem. Uh, oh shit, golem! Oh okay. no! Okay. So Rohan, really in that case, Rohan is Mark again. The only other half elf. Yeah, Rohan yeah, is roll... Mark again. And you might want to, if you want to redirect your second one, you will see that you will take the hunter's mark damage, but Does the your non-magical from... weapon damage will not um, affect it. So do I cast hunter's mark for the second shot too? Um, the, yeah, you, can, I, you get I the damage for it. For it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can do, if you wanted to redirect your shot, you would have seen that the first attack did not damage it with the arrow itself. The Hunter's Mark damage will damage it, as odd as that is, but yeah, up to you. No, nope. he, he killed the only other half-elf. I'm pissed. 
All right. I'm going for him no matter what. All right. So, My... so that total, I gave him, what, nine? Yep. Nine damage. Gotcha. Mm. Casimir is going to... Um, come over here. Man. Um, and he will actually stay back here. Now he's got one more of these. One more greater invisibility this time. Wait, nope. Just while those still greater invisible. Sorry, guys. He's just going to fire bolt, and then it's uh, Amber Golem's turn. Um, just Waldo doesn't want it. He can take it off and put it on someone else. Please, can I uh, have it? Yeah, he can do that. Um, you turn invisible. You're hard to hit, but I'm still going to try. Because you're in the way. Yes. Yeah. That's fair. Um, disadvantage. I've got a 24 and a 13 to hit. Ow. The 24 hits, the 13 doesn't. 23 points of bludgeoning damage. Guess who's down? No! <laughs> I have a healing potion, and I'm right next to you. She is down, but invisible. Um, you guys could probably find her still, but... Um, that's an interesting situation. Uh, Wait, pull her nose. Make, make another uh, dexterity saving throw, please. As this Two. one behind tries to ram the uh, flaming sphere. That's gone, isn't it? Into Cyborg. What the flaming sphere went? The the other one did. He cast one on. Um, all right, you take no damage, Ooh. and then it will uh, make a series of attacks at you. Uh, both come in at a nine. So those miss. This other one will also cast a flaming sphere. I need a deck save. One more for you. Is it getting hot in here or is it just? It's oh, no, it's hot. getting hot in here. Uh, 17. Saves. Take no damage. Woo. But dodging. Woo. All he can do. This one will float over this way. Looking in. Claire. Uh, uh, if I've got a reach weapon, do I get Oh, yeah, you can make an attack of opportunity. Oh, but uh, evasion takes my reaction, doesn't it? Nope, that's uh -huh. just a feature. <gasps> oh, yay! No, oh, hot damn. Then, yeah, I'm going to hit that someone. All right, so. Uh, whip it good. <laughs> oh, a nine? Oh, we'll not connect, unfortunately. And that's a nine. Yeah, got it. Yeah. All right, Claire, I need a death save. You've got advantage if you want to crit fish. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my um, my d20. Oh. oh. From Pixie. Come on, natural 20. Come on. Unfortunately, the nine is a fail. What? Just Waldo. You're muted. Making a lot of noise and uh, <laughs> throw my last dart. Trying to get the attention of the thing. Yeah, what's your range again? Uh, the uh, I think I, a natural one. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Okay. Elimus, make your saving throw, just Waldo. God. Have you made your <sighs> saving throw, just Waldo? The slow is persistent. I will look at the golem and pray and uh, speak the words uh, pulses fugivit ad infernum and go for a banishment. 
Ooh. Is it a charisma save? It's charisma. Got advantage on this. However, my modifier is excellent. I have a two and a one. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! Thank it God! Makes this popping noise. Oh my God! <laughs> and vanishes out of existence. It's concentration, so slow drops. Sorry, Cyborg. Um, I think so, it's probably worth it. Yeah, that's my action. Um, can I run up, grab her? I know she, maybe she's got a healing potion and shove it down her throat. Does, does the slow does, does slow the slow that away? it got cast go away? Oh yes, it does. It's incapacitated. It is not. It is incapacitated. A... When you get I banished, you're incapacitated. It is, but this is not oh, the. Okay. Um, this is not the spell. It, it makes the spell effect, but it is. Um, it. Uh, <laughs> you're getting to the end of the time limit as well, though, oh, which good. is <laughs> Man, fantastic. Um, all right. Let's yeah. See. Can I move up to Claire and shove a healing potion down her throat? It, um, you one? could produce a healing potion and get over there, but to administer a healing potion is an action. Okay. I will go over and rummage through her pockets to see if she's got one. I don't know if she's got one. I don't believe I have. Yes, she does. Because I was going to give her one, but she already had one. Do what? I have one? Right. Oh Wait. my god. Um, check if you have one. I will also I also say going searching through one. another com a companion's belongings no, is I don't have require one. an action yeah, as I, well. I don't have unless one. you have a feature that would um, allow you yeah, to do that. I don't so. have one. All right. I will a few of you do. Hmm. No. Then it's going to be Cyvor. All right. So got some flames around you. Yeah, you know. Lord, Lord. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, so in terms of movement, DM, I'm going to fly up and over. So basically, I'm going to fly up and around to get behind this creature. If that... I got you. Yep. Okay. But still staying within the five foot of it. Sure. Um, cool. And then uh, so whip attack. A 17 to hit. Um, do I? Yes. It will shield that attack. Saucy. All right. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and do my sword for ugh, for an eleven. Unfortunately, no. Ooh, dang it. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll use my bonus action, unarmed strike. See if this will get through. Come on. Oh, twelve. Oh, all just ding ding off this sort of energy of fire-like shield that it has placed between you and it. Bastard. Uh, all right. All right, yeah, and that's that's me and my mojo. Athelflaed. You're muted. Oh. Athelflaed, you're muted. Glad that you can't hear me when I have it on mute. I don't <laughs> understand. I'm just going to think all to myself out loud on mute from now on. Um, okay, actually, I'm going to Hunter's Mark that one. The one not right directly in front of Cyborg. And then I will... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super hits. You're shooting past the golem this time. Yeah. Alright. Is, is the golem there? Oh, you, I keep thinking you're attacking the flame skulls. You said in front of Cyborg, so I got confused. Anyway. Wait, is the golem on the map? The golem's I'm... gone. Yeah. The golem got oh, banished, so you yeah. should attack the skulls. That's I thought what I, I like... heard golem. Guys, it's still on my map. I can see it because it's on the DM layer. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's what I was like, <laughs> on combat, a lot of things before. attract stress about yeah. killing players. So, um, yeah, this one will... Uh, this time... <laughs> uh, it's like Smarties for Cyvor, just this dust of the skull dust <laughs> just shatters around Snack him, time! So. He gets a little bit on his, like, on his face, and he's just... Oh. <laughs> huh. 
Uh, do you have a second attack you'd like to use? I do. So the hunter's mark, when that when that one died, it, I transferred over to this one, and I do that all again. You had your hunter's mark on the golem, though, correct? Yes, but the golem died. Did so not then die. Well, you then I recast cast it. hunter's mark on that, but then that was your bonus action. When it, you can use your bonus action next turn to transfer it over. But Fine. since you already used a bonus action this turn, you don't have it to transfer. Fine. Sheesh, how dare you be right. <sighs> I try. Whoa! I mean, I got a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> that natural 20. I'm sorry, Maris, I'm late to that. Roll that damage. <laughs> That's why I was like, do I even need to roll damage? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, 18 is going to be enough, and this one will crack into two bits. Thank God. Shatter on the ground. I'm sorry, Maris, it wasn't good enough. Just like our hopes and dreams. (laughs) Shut up and eat those skulls. (laughs) DM, is that um, combat over while we're waiting for the banishment to become permanent? Um, While I believe... It doesn't become... I guess it depends we on whether We had some death saves to make and such. Well, yeah. and shove a healing potion down my throat, maybe? <laughs> oh, yes, I will gladly do that. Here you go. Um, do you have one, Athelflaed? Yes. Just I got the first one of the night. Take it out of your pocket and hold it. You don't have the action to do it, but there. All right. Take your face Casimir and Casimir right will here. grab it from you and pour <laughs> it down um, her throat is his action. Okay. Before she has to make the saving throw again. Uh, another round passes, uh, and another oh, round DM. passes. How much healing is that? And your what? DM. How much healing? What's up? Uh, it, was it was a it was a regular. Yeah. Um, I just does I don't. It does banishment does it come back? It has to be from a different plane for it to be permanent, right? Correct. That's why I'm right. saying right. But you're yeah. no longer slowed. I'm just no hold. longer slowed. Okay, I'm gonna jump off of the statue. Can I use acrobatics to? Um, to uh you so well so I mean, you I can, can yes you would also probably you know that it's going to be gone for a minute you guys have about eight rounds to do what you want to get ready for this thing to come back eight rounds nine including this get, one i did it last round get the hell off that column or that that so you could climb down carefully and climb up the knotted rope and still have four actions to prepare for it to come back. Does that make sense? Yeah, so with my with my movement, my action movement, and my bonus action movement, could I make it to the amber statue that grants resurrection and back? Uh, by the time... Um, um, by the time you, yeah, by the time it comes back, you even if it took two rounds to go, two rounds to come back, you could do it. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Pixie's I'm not buying any groceries this week, and so she's a, she's asked us all Over to roll Harris's again body. for inspiration. <laughs> oh, thank I, you very much, Pixie. If if you haven't got inspiration, roll for inspiration, guys. I've still got. Well, do I still have mine? Because I gave it to Maris right right when things happen. Man. Then Maris would have it. And she's dead! So I head <laughs> then down. I will roll. I head... gathered Maris's body up and to. Maris will still have it if we resurrect it. Stop it. <laughs> well, it wasn't me that won it. It was a DM. Oh, God. It was the D. I know. We just, we just loaded the weapon for him. Oh, God. Yeah, well done, Pixie. No joke. No. Thank you very much, Pixie. <laughs> oh, no, thank you, Pixie. Um, <laughs> Pixie, it's not your fault. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Pixie. DMs. You tell me when I get there. Peter. Any healing that we have needs to be used, like, right now. Yeah, I, oh, I, I do warn function. everyone that we haven't got long. Yeah. Does anyone else have anything in the tank I've as far as nothing. potions? Okay. We've been, dis- we've been dished out healing potions. Who's got them? We've had two or three um, this session. I had one. I think Maris I had, had one, but Maris she's has not. one too. I, okay, I'll we'll take Maris's. Just take it from, yeah, yeah take it. I'll, yeah, take I'll, it off my cold dead body. <laughs> you shut up, you're dead. Well, I, 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 I got, I got like, a minute. Hang on, hang on a minute. <laughs> Pixie's just coming with another it, healing potion. Have. No, what? Jesus. All right, let's see. Oh, Pixie, you're oh. off you nutted. But thank you so, so much. Oh, yes. 98, Jesus Christ. Who's got it? Who's got it? 
Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Pixie. You are far too generous. Thank you. Let's see. Who hasn't had thank one you. in a bit? The Cyvor. <laughs> Absolutely. And what is it? A greater? Yeah. Yeah, he was a 98, wasn't it? Pixie That's... coming in clutch. A superior. That's four. 4d4 plus 4? Is that the greater? Oh, for God's sake. Peter rolled it again. 4 plus 4. No! I know. Okay. Cannonball. Oh Cannonball, God. thank you very, very much, thank my friend. <laughs> Far too generous. Thank you. Oh, why did I roll? <laughs> They've all just got necklaces now of, like, <laughs> healing like, potions. Uh, it's like they're going to, like, a beer festival with pretzels or, like, necklaces, except uh, it's just healing oh. potions. Like uh, This old thing. Huh. Roll again, Peter. <laughs> Roll another 98, please. <laughs> We're gonna. Oh, 38. What's that? What's that equate to? Uh, it's a regular one. Um, regular. Who who doesn't have one right now? What was what, what the 98? Is a 98 a superior or, or a greater? Or I don't know if we had superior on the table. We no, it was right. all. It was everything under 80 percent was going to yep. be regular, and 80 and above oh, okay. 80 was. Uh, so, Alimus or uh, or Claire, you whoever wants it. I I will hand it to Claire if it's given to me anyway. I am damaged, okay. so, so that's I will a give it to Claire. Okay. Let's drink now. If she now. needs it. All right, yep. just Waldo. Despite your first force of personality, you did notice these consecutive gifts have become. It kind of sends a shiver down your spine, even though it feels really good. The, you feel good, but potentially less like you each time you accept one. But Zadun, the corpse star, does offer you the gift. Do so what, do I have to like, be touching her or what? Um, the voice simply says... When the gift is given, you will know what to do. Bring it back to me, please. Do it. All right. Like a charisma saving throw with disadvantage. Disadvantage. So that's a 16. The consecutive. And a 10. Fuck. Do I get it, at least? You do? All right. Uh, All right, I'll run back. Okay. Is she awake? You guys see Jeswaldo run through, but he looks different. Jeswaldo, as you, you just know all you have to do is reach out and touch this body. But as you reach out, your hand is sallow and gray. Your fingernails, yellow, cracked. Just Waldo looks undead. It looks oh like he has almost like a ghoul. Not necessarily the features like the long tongue, the, but the teeth a little jagged and the skin looks it's like a I good said. Thing you haven't started my picture, Jade. Like a corpse. <laughs> oh. It's going to be a problem. We can talk about that later. I will uh, resurrect first, Claire. So basically, okay. he's a gorgeous uh, let, looking let, ghoul. Resurrect um, Maris. All right. She will spring to life. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Best looking um, corpse I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, Alinus. you look amazing! Alinus, is it going to reappear exactly where it disappeared? It will do, yes. We need to move. We need to, oh my God. like, is... fucking hide. We need, we to, need to fucking it. destroy it. Was, was We're Maris... barely alive. DM, was was Maris resurrected at full health? Yeah. Um, the... This is the effect of the spell um, resurrection. Um, so... Maris is in is quite exhausted. Um, Maris, you have a minus four penalty to attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks that okay. will um, um, lessen somewhat. But you are alive. A lot. She's alive. It's okay. I I'm 
Hopefully Worth it then. Um, no regrets. Shh. Okay. Um, and you return with all your hit points. Okay. Just, just Waldo. Are, are you? Just Waldo. Um. Can we have that conversation later, please? Yeah, no, yes. Of course, yeah, of we need to move. Yep, thank you. Um, I we either need to set ourselves up to fight this, and Maris, I I can't even process that right now. If you've got anything, anything at all, otherwise we need to fucking barricade ourselves down that stairwell and like wait until we actually have the strength to deal with this thing. Who, does anyone need healing? I am so fucking right now. Here, here, take in a hot second. Take this, and I hand you a greater healing potion. Jeswaldo, do you need it? Um, no, I'm fine. Let's uh, let's go back to the library. How about that? I bet they won't mess with uh, that uh, lich guy. Okay. Do we have enough? You guys, gonna run? You guys are going to run from it. Yeah. yeah. All right. And you get uh, twelve life back. I did Thank give you. you the healing potion as well. Mm -hmm. So you had, you had you do have one. Yeah, I'm at twenty eight now. Take the other one. I would. I thought I did. No. I don't know, you did, okay. did you? Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Does anybody have a mirror? You don't want I a mirror. I don't think you want to do that. Right yeah, now, you don't. Is it um, really that bad? DM, do we have enough time to get to the library? Does or at least think off do? of this floor? You can, yes. Okay. Um, can I... This is a very quick conversation. You can get back there. Shut the doors, shut the secret doors, barricade, and you will hear that of the golem popping back into existence and just the faint words. sounds of do i recall how damaged sounding it like looked? it's just looking around and patrolling what's that do i recall how damaged it looked um it had a few chinks off it uh maybe but you don't it certainly looked like more than half and I think that's a good place for us to take our first break. Welcome back, everyone. Whew. Need a little breather after that last one. Um, in case you're just joining us, there was an enormous battle here at the end of the Ember Temple. Not the end, but in the Ember Temple here. Um, one of the Amber Golems, accompanied by a few flame skulls, attacked the party. And in the battle that ensued, our dear Maris passed on for a moment but was revived thanks to Gisvaldo okay, sprinting down to the amber vault and accept, accepting the dark gift of Zudun the corpse star in doing so it transformed Gisvaldo's appearance somewhat uh, making him corpse like undead <laughs> dead Waldo <laughs> that's funny <laughs> um who said and that? <laughs> <laughs> because that's cruel and unusual. It's in the Zoom chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was it was Ryan. Of course it was Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> well, who else? God damn it. <laughs> Dead and, Waldo. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. And the party um, retreated after a clutch banishment from Elimus took the. Um, the golem out of the well realm of Barovia for some time. So, party retreated back into the library where they now sit. And a curious form floats in, eyeing all of you. So, um. do we do we go back out there? I think we need a breather. Maris is very shaken and yep. immediately starts looking for the refillable wine jug. Yep. <laughs> She's like, Can I Word. can I get can I get a drink? Because yep. Waldo, go, do you do you need a drink? Uh, um I'm fine, I think, for the time being. Okay. Just Just Waldo. Mm. If you want I have a mirror listed in my inventory. <laughs> Why not? It, uh, it has to happen sooner or later, doesn't are you, it? Are you dead certain you want to see it, though? Dead certain. 
Dead certain. I don't know that it's ever going to be based on your own reactions. I think uh, sooner is better than later, wouldn't you think? Probably. Best looking or corpse never. I've ever seen. You might want a stiff yeah. drink. <laughs> nah, I'll be fine. Hey, hey. Let's see it. Come I, on. I, every, on me. Everyone got Ryan. They didn't get mine. I will get my steel mirror <laughs> out and hold it out. Sorry, my friend. Whoa. Oh, and the teeth. Well, that's going to change a few things. But if anyone could pull off teeth like that, you can. Hmm. Well, at least I've got this. And I hold the, uh, put the mirror back and I close my eyes for a second and the uh, glamoured leather armor <gasps> covers me and it turns into a hood with a little harlequin mask with the um, the diamonds back and forth over the no, 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 stop making shit up because I've got a job <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> um, head, head to toe just covered in cloth and armor and um, still a bit of a cape and a hat the Ponzi hat can't. Leave. I was gonna say the hat has to make it. <laughs> of all people, you would hat be takes... the one who would make death look good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't feel dead, but I do feel different. If I didn't know you better, I'd kill you. Hmm. You could try. Does it hurt? I don't really want to, don't worry. It hurts on the inside, Sivor. <laughs> on the inside, it hurts. Just but on the out outside, of curiosity. I don't know. Kind of feels gooey. Just, just out of Moist. curiosity, are you like hungry at all? Any more so than before? Or, or differently? Uh, I could eat, I suppose. I could really go for some brains. <laughs> oh no, I go. No, I just, I, yeah. just. Oh, it's not really Whip funny. immediately yeah. comes out. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. So, Sivor, were you saying something? I, uh, um, I like bones. Is that a, is that a th <laughs> that you like to? No, like the. No, when the thing expl it got some of the, it got in my mouth and I, it didn't taste bad. What, the bone was in your mouth and it didn't taste Yeah, bad. The, the flaming skulls that when they exploded. Nice shot, by the way. I assume it was apple flat. Yes. Yeah, nice. And then, it, but like the hit of a, got some of it, the bones in my, and then it tasted pretty good. I was I'm actually kind of hungry for a bit now and. Uh, so may maybe you maybe you like bones too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe maybe you like bones. That's the worst of it. The, the lich will it. you will hear him speak from the corner. He's just kind of hovering there, walking, watching all of you, and he says, "Oh, oh Jesus, <laughs> the gift of Tarakamides, the Grave Worm. I have never seen this one incarnate yet." Yes, you. I suggest you give in to that hunger. I'm told if you go a day without eating a pound of bones or grave dirt, you will simply die. What? Or so the legend says. Oh, shit. How about, okay. But any bones or? Like a pound? That's not that much. That's still yeah. pretty gross. Though. Yeah, of bones. Like, <laughs> a it day? all depends on how you prepare them, I suppose. Or Ooh, the what would your suggestion be, Jeswaldo, for the best bone preparation? Um, soup. soup, I would think. Soup. soup yeah. Like a mm. smoothie, maybe some sort of smoothie. <laughs> like a nice osobuco. Like, is that what you're going to oh, make? Oh, yes, us? that's right. Mm, yes. Yeah. So, so, I'm so, I'm so, uh, Mr. <laughs> Lich. That was the gift of Archimedes? Th 
Terakamedes. The Grave Worm. A little different. <laughs> and uh, remind me who I have to thank for this. That is Zudun, the Corpse Star. Is that what you did? Is that why we look like we could be related now? And his... His gaze falls towards Elimus. No, my path was quite a different one. Skill and mastery begot mine. I suggest you go and gather those skulls, Sybil. Sybil. You might be needing them in the days to come. But isn't the... Yeah, we can't go out there. The... There isn't the yeah. big amber meanie out there? Shouldn't we? Yep. I mean, do you... Can we, can we take a rest? Maybe. I would like to see Tamaris, because she... I'm glad you're back with us, but you kind of look like shit. Cyborg, uh... if you are... If you do need to eat them in order to live, um, the room that had the statue had several corpses in it. With both. Yes! Okay, oh. okay. I'm freestyling through my grief. Damn, girl. <laughs> you look like shit. Oh my god, thank you so you much. You just died. <laughs> I feel incredible. You are a hot mess. All right. <laughs> <laughs> any, like, blankets or any excess? I've got, like a, like, a random robe in my inventory or something. I'm just, like, wrapping her up and, like, putting her somewhere warm. <laughs> She's still just drinking out of the yeah, refilling. Yeah, okay. You you take you take your wine. Just chill for a hot sec. I please drink too don't much of that. don't go anywhere again. Not too much please. wine? I just died. Yeah, you just might not want can to. You, can you alternate? Like I I'm gonna I'm gonna shove my water skin into her other hand so she's like <laughs> double handing it. <laughs> beep, 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 boop, boop. <laughs> yeah. We all deal with death differently. <laughs> Maris gets smashed. Are we taking a uh, a short rest then? Please. Okay, I will yes, take right. a short it rest. Better be and long. Do arcane recovery. Should we just like fucking bed down for the night? Did we, didn't we just do that? But yeah, we can. Well, I mean, how many? A lot's lot happened. Since happened. Then. A lot has happened. Did, it. did we? I don't remember. Literally, no, yeah. I don't... We rested and then went downstairs. Oh, yeah, no, but we but fought, we were the, fucking we fought, the, fought uh, the Arcana lot. Hmm. Yeah, we fought the, the Arcana, Arcana lot, and we were fucking around with and all those other Amber things. We went and we did the shits. Amber things and all that. Sometimes it's fast. Shopping. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've definitely grown wings since the last time I took a nap. So <laughs> Have you? You look amazing. <laughs> I'm happy to rest. I, just... I can do some more study. Maris will not be studying this time, unfortunately. <laughs> she just needs to sleep. You can still yeah. study a little bit, Maris. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. Go to sleep. Uh, now. Passes up. <laughs> Though it is a, um, a intense, harsh sleep, Maris, the dream recurs to you. And... Claire, especially, you can hear this tune even though she's sleeping. She's out cold. This faint melody that she's humming. Hmm. There's that weird song. She said something about. No. Oh, the lyrics. Yeah, so what are you guys back. doing? Are you going to try and. Um, are you going to spend this, another night? The spell book I got was that Creatures, wasn't it? I need to write that down. Um, I've, can I, have I got time to learn another spell in here? We've, we've got like all day and all night. Depends what you guys are doing. I'm studying. And then I will take a long rest. <laughs> I don't really care what we do. Yeah. Maris I've passed out. <laughs> yeah. Are we taking a long, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Just Waldo pulls out his pipe to smoke opium and looks at it for a while and is like hmm. puts it on one of the bookshelves looking at it for a while so 
Excuse me. I speak to the uh, lich. Does it get worse than this? Then your current appearance? What are you referring to? Well, it occurred to me that it couldn't really get any worse than this. So maybe there's other gifts out there to partake in. I imagine there are. Hmm. Did you ever? No. I value my own self too much. How much is left of Jeswaldo? And how much is the others? Hmm. I don't know. I still feel mostly me, I suppose. How did they get here? I'm listening in. The they were here. When the Druids hmm. were still ruling this place. Here before Strahd. But not here before you. They were here before me. Really? They gave me the gift to become what I am today. And that was the only gift you took? As I said, the only one. But you, you received the 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 temptation from all of them, right? I mean, you've been living here for so long, you must have at least gone and talked to them. I hear them occasionally. So what else is out there? <laughs> I need to raise one's intelligence, maybe. So I can learn more. I wouldn't recommend it, Alimus. Some the protection from those who would pry by magical means. Some offer strength, others offer magical guardian. Some the gift to see hidden and invisible. Well, that would be useful. Mm. Mm. They're not all of them permanent. Oh, that's... Oh. I, I don't suppose... You know, with enough long rest, a few years lying on the beach, You were granted a resurrection, Joswaldo. Yes, but I mean, really. Perhaps this is... there's only one way to undo it. You... And he looks towards Maris. Uh, oh, I see. No. So, if she dies, then it goes away and I go back to the way I was. That seems kind of... I don't know cheating which normally wouldn't bug me but that is to say I don't know but it's it might be worth a shot if you get desperate <laughs> I never get desperate hmm. I will ask to look at the spell books again and can I learn any Okay, he will um, show you a couple spell books. One has the <clears throat> the spell book of an archmage. Um, essentially, um, in an hour or two, he will teach you the command book, the command words for most of the spell books in this library. Mm -hmm. um, and will allow you to freely copy from them. Awesome. What level spell could I copy? You can only copy spells 
of a level that you can cast. Yeah. I didn't know how many. I, last time I could only do a level two. I see. So that will depend on how long you guys are staying, like I said. Do you want to heal and then just I'm assuming we'd have to sit around while the wizard dawn. copies spells? That's kind of a group, you know, a group decision to stay in this place. You're you're muted, Sean. Sorry. I am ready to leave. I would like but... to get out of here as soon as possible. During the conversation with the lich, Cyborg has moved into that uh, front area where that the skulls had come tumbling out, and you yeah. And he's sort of little vault with the fake yeah. chest. And so he's kind of sitting there going like, okay, average human head is about two pounds. So that'll do me for about two days. This is the grossest math I have ever had to do. Okay. And he's just like, it's like trying to find like bones that he can like pick and like put in his pack. And then it's like, <laughs> he's like anyone watching him is like, um, <laughs> Uh. <laughs> no, no, that's not. That's not. That's not. Okay, I got to figure out a better way. Uh. Like so make it into a paste and put it on yeah. bread. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, not, yum yum! Yeah. <laughs> it's like Little Vegemite. Garlic. <laughs> yeah. Um. It's gonna be the first character in D and D who has like his like protein powder. <laughs> turmeric. Turmeric. It, cut, it cuts everything. You need lots of turmeric. Oh, lots of lots of turmeric. Your bones oh. to bake my bread. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that to someone. Hmm. So glad for you. Delightful sense of humor. Um, isn't he fun? Alignus. I'm not saying that this is what we should do, but what I would like to do is take a rest and then leave, I think. I think that's prudent. We've stayed here long enough. Okay. And give Alimus the opportunity to copy down a little bit more and then let's get our asses out of here. Hey, mm. okay. For each hour you stay, Elimus, you can copy a level. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll don't forget uh, to read your book. Aren't we long Not resting? including the rest. Not Maris, including the rest. Yeah. This is just a bizarre out. thing. What time of day is it? Oh. Because Who cares? It's strange, I died. though. I imagine <laughs> after a uh, fight for your life, you might feel like sleeping a little. Yeah. So if we stay... Some of us died. Tw <laughs> so a long rest doesn't necessarily mean sleeping. <laughs> But you have to yeah. spend the time resting to completely heal yourselves, recuperate. Right. So and what's a long rest? Does that make Eight sense? Hours, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So twelve hours. Is that okay, with everyone? Check uh, spend half a day. Um, while Alimus is doing that, for any time that I'm not spent resting, I would like to try to meditate a little, see if I can clear my mind and focus on whatever distant fuck is trying to talk to me. Okay. So so we're staying for a 12 hour period. Is that what we're looking to do? All right, cool. So I'll uh, I'll try to figure out my bone broth and then um, I'm gonna spend the time sort of consulting the books to see if I can learn anything more about uh, the things we're gonna be fighting. Eat them bones. <laughs> yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh. Okay. Um, are you actually um, researching or? Yeah. Okay. Got my are you asking down. for Xanther's help or are you just reading your own stuff? I mean, I, I will <laughs> gladly ask him to like point me. Is there like a, is this library divided up into section? Is there like a, a creature section? I'm just trying to understand more. About what is it that you're looking for? Uh, Do they use the Dewey Decimal System? Information. Yeah. Do you have like a, a catalog? Can I like check the? He casts Finger of Death. No, just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Shit. Um, <laughs> Guys. No, he will ask what you're looking for specifically. Uh, and, yeah, and Cyborg is attempting to explain uh, uh, the the types of creatures that exist in this world or, or that we might face uh, when we go up against Strahd. Uh, if there was any sort of a record of them or uh, of the creatures that sort of- The run. undead and vampirism is, yes. Yeah, yeah, that, that. Mm -hmm. um, is, it, is it alphabetical? And he speaks a word, an arcane word, and a large tome just floats down from the shelf and lands on a table. And you see it flop open and it looks blank, but then he speaks another word and 
writing materializes. May I? He gestures a bony hand towards it. Can make a religion check or uh, investigation check with advantage. Love that. So I wish I had spent more time in investigation. Uh, how about a nine? Okay. Um, I you may find a few relevant things, which I will determine um, yeah. in a bit. I don't have them off the top of my head, but um, you make a couple notes that seem relevant. Relevant note taking. Okay. Um, so Claire, in your meditation, is it a? Uh, Anything specific you are honing in on, listening for something in particular or anything like that? Um, I think the first thing that I want to try is just trying to quiet my mind, trying to block out any of any of the whisperings of the other Amber Temple voices and try to concentrate on what the weird voice that was telling me no okay. sounded like. Um... I'm also I if if Maris is still singing, I might listen to that a little bit and see if it does anything. Cool. Um, uh, you may make a um, check with advantage that you feel appropriate. Uh, <laughs> how about a persuasion check? <laughs> Um, I don't know. <laughs> so, let's see. You could make a charisma check. Okay. In That's general. Fine. As you try um, to align the force of your will with whatever this might be that is echoing through here. Um, that's, that's good. That's about as good as that could have been. Uh, yeah, okay, so a 23. Yes, this sort of melody you feel yourself humming it along as well and um you find yourself sort of lost between some mists the um sensations of the ground below you your friends quietly talking, Elimus scribbling in his spell book. The musty creak of an old tome's page being turned. All deaf to you. And then as the mists fade a bit in front of you, you see a man with silver hair. He seems to be absent-mindedly humming to himself. And you look, his eyes widen as he abruptly stops. He opens his mind to speak and you are ripped from his presence. You shoot awake, but not before you feel yourself pulled through a stone floor past some stairs, through a wall, and to your location. You instinctively look to see where you were. And you feel like you know the location of what you're looking for. Okay. Interesting. About how far through the rest are we? I assumed you were doing this before you rested, but... Oh, okay. That's that's legit. Um... Ah... Uh, um... Hey, Casimir. Any chance you had one of those greater invisibilities left? Hmm. Don't sun Casimir. I have one. How long does it last? A minute. 
if I went at full speed, do I think I could get where I think I'm going? You do. You know it is down and beyond a sealed pair of amber doors beneath Fuck the balcony doors. here. <sighs> um, okay. I... I will be patient. Patience is a virtue. And will thank Casimir. I'm gonna put we're gonna put a pin in that. And uh, before tucking myself into a cozy spot near Maris, um, I will approach Jiswaldo and say I will have one thing that I need to do before we leave. Do you need any help? I'll do it after we rest. I don't think it's a good idea to wander off as in shit shape as I'm in right now. So. Be careful, Claire. So, um, I don't know. Sorry. Oh, no. I was gonna, I was just gonna thank Doswaldo. Seriously. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. And the last thing I wanted to do before tucking in was um, going up to Maris's sleeping form and put my hand on her head and whisper a prayer to Saloon and then go to bed myself. Okay. Um, so, Peter, I don't know if you've had... Uh, like a melody in mind have you or mm -hmm. has it Ooh, okay never mind then forget it sorry no it's okay i just wish i knew what it was <laughs> she's this driving me crazy do you want to do you want to hear it sing. um i absolutely want to hear it because then i can familiar to some but um it's appropriate um uh, Liz, or this is what you guys hear, just as Liz is, uh, sorry, as Maris is unconscious and just kind of humming. Oi, King's Foil, it's a weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that tune is called. But. Um, if everyone goes to sleep after he's done his study, uh, he will go and kneel down next to Maris. And just try to wake her up gently. Maris now the headache has come, Maris. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> Sorry to wake you, Maris. Uh, it's okay. I'm honestly just happy to be able to see everyone again. Do you, uh, do you have one of those small, important healing like you'd usually do into my ring? Oh, yeah. Um, it just yeah, abs saves lives, you know. It, I tried using <laughs> it on you earlier, but <laughs> obviously that didn't help. Mm. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, and Maris uh, casts saves important lives yeah uh you she doesn't know how to feel about that but uh she casts healing word into the ring the ring thank you get some sleep okay maris immediately passes out again and begins humming no <laughs> i will go and uh get some rest once i've done my my studies okay and you guys will be able to long rest Jesus. 
So it's not Dawn, is it? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> it's We're dark. inside. Yeah. Dark. What year is it? Days. I feel like <laughs> with the 12 hours of like resting and then also researching and all that stuff, like with the fight that we had with the thing, like we've got to be coming up on the next day at some point. Oh, yeah, definitely. So it is um, Dawn then, yeah? Is that, is that what you're saying? Since when? Like, so it's Dawn as... So I, I think most of them have... Aren't don't most of the things re recharge after a twenty four hour period? Right. Well, my I, I, my I believe most of the dawn. things have changed from dawn to no. twenty four hours. The staff says at dawn. Really? That's a whole I'll, over. I'll, that's a whole over from. I uh, will double check. From AD and D. Staff regains one d six plus four expended charges daily at dawn. That's a uh, that's left over from the original. So if it is dawn, please let me know. Well, you guys can take, um, f for the most part, maybe one or two other things. You can take the full refresh. That's fine. Tracking time's been a little weird here in the Amber Temple. You're not exactly sure how long you've been here. Mm -hmm. Though, so for some of you, here? thinking thinking back onto who entered this temple feels maybe a lot different than who is currently sitting here. We, like, live here now, right? <laughs> you might as well. It's our life now. Um, actually, you're just out of curiosity. When I was talking to Casimir earlier, how did he look? Um, at some point, he will, um... There wasn't a, a very good moment, but he will come forth and show you, um... Uh, in reference to Jeswaldo, he will say... <clears throat> Don't be afraid for him. I feel fine. And he will throw his hood back and you will see, similarly, he looks like an undead. Oh, oh good. Okay. You need to get yourself one of these. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I mean, except for the whole face, because you've got the, like, the cheek thing going on, too. The, like, where you could put your finger through the cheek and like touch your own tongue. Could you not? <laughs> I don't have it. I, but he does. Look, look at them. Okay. Like open your mouth wide. You see like a, the, <laughs> yeah. That that. He that. just. I'm trying to get through my rations back. here, please. <laughs> but me, I can take my nose off. Ah! <laughs> I figured that out last <laughs> night. <laughs> oh God. It's a little hard to put back on. You just have to really shove it in there. But, uh, all this well. So. Is it Dawn? <laughs> hey, we can play yeah, that, that's like, was, back okay. to the important no conversation. Now, Waldo. I rolled a nine, so that's all of my charges back. Oh, my. So what are we done with this horrible, horrible place? Can I we go to some other horrible, horrible, horrible place? I have one thing that I need to do, and then we can go to another horrible place. Oh, you didn't do it yet? No, I was waiting to not feel like crap. Sorry. Claire, do you need someone to go with you? Uh, if anyone feels so inclined to take a little trek to the opposite side of the temple, which is where we need to be headed anyway to get out of here. Um, yeah. 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 Maris, oh, I would love yeah. to come with. Absolutely. I, I think we should all go, unless there's any... I agree. Do you? Do you think we should all go? I mean, I'm just saying. Strength and I, I agree, Cyborg. It's, it's... Unless you want to run into that golem on your own. <laughs> yeah. It did crush me to death. We should move stealthily. Not something I'm necessarily good at. So if anyone has any thing useful for that, that would be good. Otherwise, um, we can pray. <laughs> should we? Uh, should we go back around through the the, the laboratory into the through the the feast room? Is that or should we? Yeah, have... that that sounds like a good plan. Is it a canthal? Um, and then I need shoot? to go under the stairs. Is it can the stairs? Somewhere? Yeah, under the Which stairs. Which stairs? I, 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 I'm pinging on the map. Uh, oh. if it's helpful. Um, <laughs> you get. She, she will point out that if we, I pull you down to the lower level here. It is ah. these doors here. Hmm. Mm. Also, do we know where those skulls came from? Sort of. We, we saw them. them we saw their glow when we first came here. Uh, we haven't checked the Well, let's go, huh? West side as yeah. well. I believe the staircase is right there. 
Shouldn't we check the west side as well? I think we've had enough of this place. I promise this is the only thing I want to do here, and then we can get out of here. So are you guys going on the... Sorry. Should we just drop down through the trap door uh, to the lower level? We just take these steps down and then just walk, I guess, walk right across the, the hall. You could. Oh. Sure. Um, Jaswalda, would you mind taking a peek to see if the golem is anywhere around? Uh, no, I don't mind. Um, I'll sneak out stealthily. Stealthily sneaking? Ooh. <laughs> At the 25. And I will wow. come to here and I will look up where the last place we saw the golem was and see if he's still there. Uh, he's not there? No? Uh, by the way, are you bringing a light source? Um, I guess I'd better do that. <laughs> um, it's a little uh, counterintuitive for the sneak, but... Right. But um, it is pitch black in here. I was gonna... I was, I was wondering. I was like, I couldn't remember if we needed dark vision. Is there the any moment, light but... coming from anywhere? In this main hall, no. no. All right, so I take a step to go, and it's a very, very silent step, and I'm like, this is pointless. I'll stick my head out. Okay, looking up, um, you don't see it on the landing above. Okay. Let me guess, you need some light. I'm okay. He does. I do, but... I mean, if we are the one thing glowing in here, we're going to attract attention of everything. Maybe we should go back the way we came and go down these stairs near the entrance. Well, I mean, the big room definitely gives us room to maneuver. If we're going to have to fight it, we'll fight it. Let's just move further to I'll the go left take a look. or all right. And so uh, Stivor is going to step out into the hallway and fly up to the top of the statue and draw his moon blade, which should cast 30 feet. Uh, it's 15 bright, 15 dim. So okay. do I see anything? No, it looks quiet there. It looks quiet. I don't see anything. It looks quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Where to go? I don't hear ears like There's a big hawk. brain. Big brain DM descriptions there. I don't see a single sound. Looks quiet. <laughs> Smells dark. We're really painting a picture here. I hear a white horse coming. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I guess cool. we'll go. <laughs> I was like, we've reached that point, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. It does look so. Uh, Cyborg, did you say you were flying up at all? To yeah, look? flew straight up to land on. Make the a statue. perception check. Lovely. Um, Initially, you don't see anything. But. Sorry. Before we leave the library, mm -hmm. Maris has noticed that Jaswaldo has left his pipe behind, and she finds that odd. So she goes over and she grabs it. Okay. Oh, a perception of eight, unfortunately. Yep. Completely empty. Yep. Smells empty. <laughs> Here's dark. <laughs> Sounds dark, smells empty. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. well, then uh, off we go, I suppose. All right, let's go. Um, you find will... similar amber doors in front here. You can make it safely across the room. I have a feeling this is going to be one of these things again where when we break it, it's going to go like like last time and be rather painful. So, so should well, we let's see. Sort of First, let's see if breadth. if does it look like the doors that we used before that were that, well, these, this is a double door, but it does look similar. All right. Does anybody have a spell that could be useful here? Is like, it locked? I mean, I'll give it a push. Can Maris use thaumaturgy to try to open it from afar? If it's unlocked. You can She's try. She's gonna try. 
be very it noisy. Just... <laughs> the doors just sort of yeah, rattle. Yeah, I, I think we're, place. we're locked here. Worth a try. I just examine it first, see if it's trapped or anything. Help okay. me, anyone. Someone that's proficient, maybe. Anyone proficient? In nope. investigation. Mm, yes. Casimir can help you with any history or arcana checks, but I, not I that. am. Yeah. yeah, I am not. I call for Ethelflad then. Go, Ethelflan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's me. I choose you. Uh, <laughs> I choose 16. you, Ethelflad. <laughs> sixteen uh, investigation. 16? Uh, they again. They appear to be unlocked. These seem to be doors that you're just supposed to push. There's no latching mechanism on them at all. They're not trapped or anything. Apple, apple, uh, not that you can see. I want it so bad. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's trapped or not. Oh, it's definitely trapped. It's like the other ones. Um, well, step back. We got then. the other one open with a large amount of force, and it hurt a lot. Well, step back. So, then. I'll step so back. We, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping back. <clears throat> I'll wait for everyone to get out of the way. Where am I? Oh, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> I am, okay. <laughs> you're, way, you're way over in the room, yeah. I got it, yep. Uh, once everyone's out of the way, um, he will speak the words Patentibus Magicia Senimo and cast Knock. Okay. Do you guys hear a loud... Echo throughout. <laughs> Good one. It like with the door, wouldn't it? What is the spell description of knock? It will Did open, you post it? Object can open yeah. a door, a box, a chest, a set of manacles, a padlock, or another object that contains a mundane or magical means that prevent access. If an object has multiple locks, only one of them is unlocked. Okay, you hear the loud sound, and all is still. Should I go try it? Well, somebody has to. All right, fuck it. Well, I'll go try the door. I mean, we just came back from the... I push okay. it. Okay. It's outside. The door is easily oh. push open for you. Okay. Beyond... Hi. Useful spell, that one. Thank you, Elena. You see... Some type of ossuary. Yeah. Oh. Claire, what do you see? Bodies. Well, uh, rather, places where bodies would be put. It looks like some sort of buffet. A restaurant, oh. maybe, yes. There are many skeletal bodies sitting here um, in these um, uh, on these uh, stone beers, each in a little alcove. Um, looking about, you will see that Claire, you feel like you were pulled from this location. And going there, you will see what looks to be encased in amber a perfect representation of this silver-haired man that you dreamt of maris this is the same man that you have seen beheaded night after night over and over again in your dreams maris gasps <laughs> who is it i i'm not sure this so I've been having these recurring dreams and I've continually seen this man. He He's the one who urged me. And I only told Claire about this because I sometimes have dreams that end up being, they come true. Um, and it felt like one of these dreams, but he's the one who urged me to come rejoin the party. Uh, but in each dream, I've seen him be beheaded by Strahd at the end of each. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know who he is, though. He's just started appearing to me in dreams. I never thought that I would 
see him. Does he look like he's I been beheaded his... here? No, he doesn't. Does it look like a statue of made out of amber or like somebody who's literally been cast in amber? It looks like they've been fossilized, Jurassic Park style. Interesting. I want to reach out and touch it. Okay. The Sensual. sound of the um, <laughs> of the uh, tune that you heard before just echoes through your mind. Hello. Anyone home? Free me. Like, break you out of the amber? Free! You're cutting out, Pia. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, it doesn't like the modulation, but you just hear the tune again. And then... Okay, <laughs> so... I I pull out a mace and swing back and take a crack at the amber. Uh, I stand okay. back. Make an attack roll. <laughs> I'm still outside. That's handy. So whose phone is dinging and making? I'm stuff sorry. Neat? I'm so sorry. I didn't. I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How did I know it was Liz? <laughs> this mundane mace king just reflects off of the amber. Seems to bounce back. Nice one, it, hot salt. I was going to say. I mean, you've got that fancy sword. Why not use it? I don't know. I guess it's not meta. I had this moment of like, maybe I shouldn't hurt the sword, but the thing's making fucking made of fire. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Let's Here try comes that. The Amber Police. <laughs> <laughs> the yes, Amber welcome alert. to Minneapolis. Um, <laughs> ah, hey, my mouth. So I went back to Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite songs from one of the best songwriters to ever live. Hell yeah! This time I think I'm gonna stay. <laughs> Tom Waits. That's like actually pretty yeah, nice. Tom That's Waits. a solid Waits. <laughs> you uh, better, Tom Waits. <laughs> Christmas card from a hooker in Minneapolis. Anyway, all right. So <laughs> listen classic. to it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. So you um, bring the sword down and all of you see the amber uh, that is encasing this body <laughs> shatter. And all at once, almost in a horrific manner, it gasps and sits up. And immediately the skin begins to decay, just <gasps> feathering away, oh. just dying, and <gasps> it's gasping for breath. And it says, "Find beacon, find, find the beacon, find Mac." And then you, s and then you see its head just twist and almost twirl, and out of the corner of your eye, you think maybe you could see just the faintest hint of a pale white hand with a red ring <sighs> grasping around and then the head um tumbles off separating from the body and <sighs> and the bones begin to dissolve into dust spoiling up almost as if they are possessed by some unseen wind <sighs> scattering about left sitting on the beer you see a single object. It looks like perhaps a coin or something of silver color, though smashed flat. I will pick it up. Did pick he it say up. find the bacon? <laughs> yum yum. I <laughs> I think we've been here too long. I think he we've said, missed a couple meals. I heard bacon. Bacon? <laughs> and he said uh, Mac or the... Find the back bacon. 
I'm like, no, I, I, I cyber, cyber. The doors right. of the Amber Temple slam close and necrotic <laughs> energy fills up. <laughs> the end. The end. And the, finally, uh, we finally pushed Peter the, too far. <laughs> it looks like a scale, a large scale made of silver. The beacon? What? Find the beacon? Did we hear that right? Was there anything? Find the beacon, and was there anything else that he said? Or I'm like a little. Find my, to... and then. Yep, my. Find my. His okay. head came off. Is that a thing that happens? Uh, it's a thing that happened continually in the dream, but I always saw Strahd doing it. There was a pale hand with a red ring on it. So we can guess. Do we recall Even... seeing Strahd with a red ring? Yeah. Have we he seen Strahd? Where's that red ring, right? You've seen a red signet ring on his hand before. Yeah. Well, do you think he wanted you to do that? I mean, he's clearly worse off now. He said to free him. Well, good job, I guess. DM, would I know from my research anything that has like silver scales in Barovia? Um, uh, that would be a history check, but are you saying, uh, yeah, see it for yourself, but who has that book? Mary still has the book, right? I don't know. Yeah. We talked about the silver, I mean, the Knights of the Silver which Dragon. Book? It was... <laughs> yeah, that one. All right, well, well, one of us has got it. Oh, you're Would pretty like sure a... that like Barovia was that place where um by like scales. some yuan T I mean, went like, but then like there on. was a hero a cleric who drove out all the yuan T from the island of barovia and so there aren't any even any scales there yeah so and i'm pretty sure he said bacon yeah, yeah. <laughs> need to clear well, your ears out kid rolled rolled a two everybody so <laughs> oh they got the same natural right. one don't worry so the question then is is the beacon here in which case we have to keep looking and we read though anything about in here said this was the last thing that they were going to do before we left or are we going to look for it someplace else well is there i'm gonna read that book have we read anything oh, about a beacon dm is there like a, a lighthouse or a uh anything like that in barovia we got a lot of questions here yeah i mean <laughs> I'm... Let's go one by one. What are we asking here? Sorry, I, I heard oh, about three questions and the DM remembers zero of what was just asked. So, uh, lighthouse, you have not seen a lighthouse, uh, at least. Um, as far as you have a book called The Order of the Silver Dragon. Yeah. I would like to get it yeah. out. I think that I have that, so I give it to Claire. <sighs> I'm skimming it for any location references. I'm going to start going around, messing with the bones, looking for treasure. I'm going to, yeah, search around, actually. Okay. Um, so, Claire, flipping through the book, um, the word uh, beacon is said multiple times, referring to these knights as being a beacon of hope for the land. Um, specifically their lord Arginvost as being the um um the inspiring force behind them um they say that his watch over the land grants protection and strength to all of those um under his care and inspires his um his knights to do justice across the land and protect the innocent. Very knightly things. Um, it also talks about um, the um, his hope being a beacon in um, more abstract ways. It mentions him, um, his strength of voice as well. Um, that he um, uh, could inspire in song and sword alike. Any 
any places. And was known both as um, and was known both as a fierce protector and a gentle friend to many. Um, I'm going to just take a complete stab, but there's no reason why Jeswaldo would know this. Um, but it just occurs to me as his player. Is this a dragon's name, Argenvost? Um, you wouldn't necessarily have a way of knowing that. It okay. is obscured. But, uh, uh, so just what I was saying, Argenvost. Maybe it was a silver dragon. Who knows? Would I have any clue, Inklin, if it could be a dragon's name? I mean, I, uh, I, I make speak Draconic. Check or a religion check. Yes. Yeah. I also speak Draconic. It's... Okay. Yeah. It certainly seems like it, though you know 26. with your intelligence that I can, it occasionally oh. is stylistic to for nobles to name their children with Draconic names. Okay. It's kind of a recurring fad. You know what I mean? So um, it, it it could be a, 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 a regular noble, or certainly it could be an actual dragon. Um, 26. You look, and this, the scale seems to abs, without doubt, be a silver dragon scale. An immense one. Um, and yeah, if it, if it seems to be a powerful name, one that you have not heard ever before in your studies. So, good thinking there, just wilder. And I'll pull out. A, I'll pull out a red dragon scale, a small one, and I'll look and compare them both. It's definitely hey. a dragon scale. What is the red dragon scale from? Uh, it was from spell component. Okay, but what size of dragon do you know? Um, let me just double check for you. It says a red dragon scale. Doesn't say what size. Okay. Maybe a wormling. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it's a low level There's spell. There's no way so to I'm know for sure, wormling. but they did sound kind of dragony. Oh, I'm hundred percent sure. It's about four times the size of your red dragon scale. Casual. Yeah. I think we should search this place for any magic. Mind you, you've used your wand, have you not, Jeswaldo? No, I haven't used it today. Oh. I will start preparing my spell. I'll start preparing to tech magic. I will stand right here and use it. Okay. It points directly back towards the door that you entered. We should, uh... Was that door secret? It wasn't, but it reveals traps as well, right? Oh, yeah, We should yeah, probably it does. leave this room. I, I'll take the scale back and start moving people towards the door if they're willing. I'm very willing. Are we leaving? I think we should GTFO. All right. Did, uh, did the investigating... I didn't roll for it. Does it need to be rolled? Is there anything of value in here? There is not. Okay. Old corpses. Plenty of bones. Oh my gosh. Do we, maybe you should grab some. Stock, stock up. up. Do we stay for Bone the tech Bone <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's up to you. Are you going to? Um, well, she, obviously Claire can see me chanting, so I'm looking at her while I'm chanting for a decision. I mean, your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's get a move on. Okay, it will stop. We've gotten enough shit in here. Okay. You stop casting and leave. And as you exit the doors, you hear them <laughs> slam shut behind you. My God, Cyvor was in there. <laughs> I'm, He'll be fine. I'm right yeah. here, just well though. So, uh, how many bones are in there? I will survive for a long time. 
<laughs> now, I think, I think it is time to go. Are you sure yep. you do not want to Second check that. the last room? Uh, I am there are, so sure. You've seen there are one, two, three, four, five rooms you have not yet explored. I think we've tested our luck far enough. I agree. I pointedly look at Jeswalder. Uh, so handsome. So, up yours. Where do we go from here? Up and out. Yeah. Out the way we came in. Just, just five more rooms. The chat saying. I, I know. Chat can. Good for chat. You <laughs> careful! Careful! <laughs> <laughs> you think that fight hit hard? We Don't love you, chat. With chat. I, I, I suddenly see a lot less health <laughs> potions coming our way. Back. Challenge somebody, right in somebody, 20, coming somebody, up. somebody grab her. Somebody get. Somebody grab her. I'm gonna call her husband. <laughs> She's out of control. <laughs> um, you uh, just walk walking out of up control. the steps to leave. Yeah, okay. All right. We leave. I follow. Yes, I At last, it. you all depart. I'll say goodbye to my sugar daddy. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> you see just floating there above that last uh, on your clever table bridge is the Lich Exanther. Uh, as he goes, he says... Bring me another greater restoration. And maybe I can help fix some things. Don't tarry now. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Mm -hmm. That could work. Look what it did to what him. Been? Uh, I don't fucking care. We're not dealing with him or any of this Dark Powers bullcrap anymore. I mean... Oh, like we, you might change your mind. I, I like have a feeling kinda... we haven't seen the worst of this place. For the time being, is there anywhere else we feel like we should go? Down the mountain. We have the wizard's tower. How about to a windmill? Oh! You know the way to my heart. <laughs> I say we go back and visit the windmill. Um, well... A windmill? Uh, I... we'll there's explain also the, the windmill little matter, as we go There's down also the, the little matter of uh, invitation. Oh, fuck. I totally forgot about that. Oh, God, I forgot about um, that, too. Ah, uh, you're gonna embarrass us, something I need to talk to you about later. Um, uh, can we just get down the mountain and, like, get back to the rest of the people that we've left down there and just, like, check in, make sure that the rest of the world isn't burning? And yes, I should give back Esmeralda her sword. Yeah, she could probably use that. You guys exit the temple. Keep the on. wind picks up. It is perhaps early morning. The angle of the sun combined with the white snow spinning about um, makes it hard on your eyes. The glint is borderline blinding. And as you leave, you see a figure in your path, and then another, another, maybe a dozen, standing, staring at you with coal black eyes. You know and what? Then, I think I might be in the mood for a fight. And then you hear a voice that says, no, don't fight them. They're my friends. And you realize Akanta has escaped and has been making <laughs> snowmen outside the Amber Temple. Amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> he got us again. Oh he got god. us with um No. He got us with um the uh, friendship. Friendship. <laughs> friendship. I want I want to give her a hug. <laughs> You are the brightest little ray of sunshine I've ever met in my life. Thank you. <laughs> she was just on screen for everyone to see. It was perfect timing. <laughs> mm. You guys, you guys look sad. I died. 
I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> it's not a just about you, Alimus. I died. But she got better. <laughs> but I got better. <laughs> Full disclosure, <laughs> I got better. I got better. better. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys leave the Amber Temple. And start the long trudge down the cold, uh, brutally and bitterly snowy and cold Solenka Pass. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see here. Ugh. You make your way back over the bridge through the small fortress that gave you rest before. I hand someone my cloak because I'm too hot. <clears throat> This is so unfair. You would think that with skin like this, I wouldn't feel the cold, but I totally do. Well, take my cloak. Thank you. I hand in my cloak and I'm just in my robes. Oh, okay. Deal with it. We've only a little way to go. You see Casimir, then he's still walking with his light clothes on, uh, you know, a small cloak, seemingly unaffected by the cold. Yeah. And um, Ibis looks unaffected <clears throat> by the cold as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose. I wonder whatever happened to that fellow with the shield and the shield or whatever. Yeah. Harry. Fellow with, oh. with the shield? That's right. That was his name. You come to the crossroads where you went before, knowing that to the right lies the mansion Ar uh, Arjun Vastholt. Ah, and to the ah, left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You know that that's what it's I called. I know, I was just looking through my notes for it. I couldn't remember <laughs> if I remembered it. <laughs> Chris, like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I wrote it down, I wrote it down, I wrote it down. <laughs> yeah, and then um, to the north lies a tower sat upon a peninsula out in the lake. So. As it might be painfully obvious to all of you, I would like to go over there. To the tower, the wizard tower. Nope, not to the tower, to the other place. Which? Why? But if you've really got your panties in a twist about the tower, then we can go to the tower. Where did you want to go? Parking bus halt. As a note, the, just so you know, the tower, though it looks very large, you've passed it, you've seen it. Yeah. It's like this, for all of you who have seen it. Oh, Perhaps four tower. stories, there's a wagon oh, outside kind of it. Look, kind of looks like a lighthouse. Yeah. It is not large. <clears throat> well, it's large, and, but it's, you know, four stories, what but does? it is not a enormous sprawling tower like the something you'd see in Baldur's Gate or Waterdeep. Uh, I mean, it just... What's the wagon? <laughs> you saw that before there, too. Just a covered so, wagon sitting a covered wagon? outside so, it. Cart usually has four wheels. He wasn't asking oh. what a wagon. Oh! No, okay. I mean, I Good took job. notes. Yeah. So, it doesn't seem like it would take us very long to check out the tower. What is the... No how idea. big is the other place? The Argon Bolt? Or... Probably kind of large. It's like a manor, isn't it? I mean, are we literally like walking like a hundred yards away from it as we walk past it? Yeah. Couldn't, um, couldn't we just go in it? It's more like... Uh, oops. Uh, wait, why, why won't you measure, please? Measure to ask cut warrants. Um, it's more like a, a detour of maybe a mile, but you could, you, you have been past it. You know where it is. You've passed within a quarter mile of it. So, I mean, we're right here. Why not? Yeah. I agree with just bald. Yes. Um, if there is a wizard there, both of those things research. are options. Maybe he's willing to help. If Casimir is not interested in the tower, would he be willing to go back to his abode and alert Esmeralda what we're up to? Uh, he will. Okay. We will come and find you and we're ready to go to... Uh, to accept this invitation. Please do. I mean... She's waited long enough. He says. 
And I mean, you went to all that trouble, right? It would be nice to have it be useful. I aim to make it so. All right, to the tower then. Yeah, all right. What's the tower? So who's at the tower? We have no fucking clue. That's where we are at the tower, Cyborg. As we're approaching the um, roughly about ten minutes away, I'm going to start casting detect magic. Can I do that while walking? Okay. So you can. Um. So you said ten minutes away. Yeah. So. Oh, so ten minutes. Yeah. I was. I got my minutes confused. Right. Ooh, you you approach. Know. The area of the tower. Um, let me oh, it's a battle change map. some Can't lighting. It's a Actually, long black rectangle. I know, I know. Here, I'm gonna put you guys here for now. We're gonna edit a few things. Um, you come to this cold mountain lake, which is enclosed by misty woods and rocky bluffs. Thick fog creeps across the dark, still waters. The trail ends at a grass-covered causeway that stretches a hundred yards across the lake to a flat, marshy island with a stone tower on it. The tower is old and decrepit, with collapsing scaffolds clinging to one side where a large gash has split the wall. Time-worn griffin statues, their wings and flanks covered with moss, perch atop buttresses that support the walls. Parked near the base of the tower, within sight of the entrance is a barrel-topped wagon splattered with mud. Okay, okay. Hmm. So, yes, that's where my brain went as well, Teresa. Do we just walk up? Say hello? Are there, uh, are there actually lights on as depicted in the picture? Um... It, let's see, let me take a double look at the picture. Um, no, though the flames to either side of the door do seem to be lit. Okay. I mean, we've got someone who could fly up and look. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> huh? hey, there he goes. Yes, a very go. wise idea to go and surprise a wizard. I don't know if there's actually a wizard in there. It's just a tower. All right. So, DM, I'm going to go ahead and uh, approach the tower uh, at, like, the window height and sort of do a circle around the turret to see if I can see any movement or anything going on. Inside hey, make a, make a perception check for your flyby. Happily. All right, with a roll of 18. That is a pretty good. Oh, thank you. Um, when you uh, look inside, you see that the sort of um, cracked uh, window sides of the... Um, the second or the first and second floor for those of you in Europe or the second and third floor for us, us in the United States um, seem to be empty floors, uh, but there are four iron chains that span the length of the tower up and down. As for the actual, and um, it seems there's an open uh, area in the center that they connect about um, 10 feet by 10 feet square. The top, you can't quite see into. The windows are frosted glass. May I um, stealthily approach the wagon? Uh, you may. Just want to look, just to see if there's any more of those crates full of vampires around. I'll fly back to the group and relay that message of the chains and the fact that I didn't see anybody in the upper parts of the tower. 21. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you feel hidden. Where'd he 
you go? Fuck if I know. <laughs> yeah, do we care anymore? <laughs> so, that, so he's now where's Waldo? <laughs> said, ah! No. Ah, how did we Ayo. not uh, come up with that? I've been waiting for someone for that one. Oh, 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 <laughs> Alright. I accidentally revealed too much, but here is the sort of what you are approaching. Oh, okay. We didn't actually see it. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, but I accidentally revealed too much. <laughs> Definitely the first time that's it. ever happened. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah, that hasn't happened before. That's like a weirdly loaded statement. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Join us next week. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm not feeling. That's it. Good night. <laughs> Namaste, everyone. <laughs> See ya. No, we still Should got we, a good uh, hour put left. Ourselves on the map. Uh, not quite an hour, but anyway, yeah, you can place yourselves on as just while those uh, stealthing up towards the uh, the wagon. Look at this one square equals five feet now. More regular oh my God, size. Thank God. Why do I have the option to bring a certain NPC on? Certain NPC? Mm -hmm. Who's that? Yeah, so, so I have an man. option to. The silverhead man. Oh, it's not supposed to be that way, but oh, he's. Look at, look but you can. Well, no, that's just a handout. I am all about. You could have. It's just that, not that's categorized like, under the other things. So. No. Is that someone who like took Mads Mikkelsen and like put him in the Witcher? Because that. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly that's, what it that's looks what it like. Definitely looks like someone who, who did that. that. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with this thing. Like, I was so searching and it was the best image. Maybe they're like trying to precast Vesemir for season two or something. Oh, Ooh. that would be great. Oh, He's man. So good. Man, uh, why would you say use that? Use Ard to block my strikes. Uh, and, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so that. ready. I'm Me about to restart yeah. mine. Great. Okay, so you that. guys, just while though you approach the wagon. <laughs> Any odd smells? Any strange sounds? Nope. Um, I will just give you the yes. basic uh, up close description. Um, under some me. layers of mud, this wagon sports a fresh coat of purple paint, and its wheels have fancy gold trim. There's a brass lantern hanging from each corner, and red drapes cover a tombstone shaped window on each side. A steel padlock secures the back door, hanging from which is a cheap wooden sign that reads Keep Out. Well, obviously, I'm not going to pay attention. Elimus, yeah, that's a fucking invitation you, for Joswaldo. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do I finish? Get my in charming? range. You will detect. Um, you will detect. What kind of magic is this? Thirty feet of me. Yeah. Um, conjuration magic. But kind of like the um, entirety of the wagon seems to bear that school. Maybe. Zwaldo has out his uh, these tools, getting ready. Uh, there's magic on that, Zwaldo. Oh, conjuration. Well, never mind then. Maybe it could be a message. But this message conjuration. Um, do you have the message spell? I don't, but surely right. I would know what school it is. This is a cantrip, yes. Uh, it's transmutation is what okay. it is. Uh, I mean, in my head, maybe it's summoning something to speak to us. Is there any spell I know of that would do that? Once in uh, most of them maybe? are in the illusion yeah. category. Mm. Well, <laughs> all right. Um, here, and I reach down and I pull, pick up a rock. I take uh, ten steps back. I throw the rock at the thing. <laughs> Impacts the side. Falls to the ground. I check the windows as he's done that. I look for if there's any movement. You will see, um, even before you go up to look in, they are um, opaque. But I see, like, All right, shadow well, we pass, can take care of that. that. And I pick up another rock and I throw it through the window. It kind of, um, it's, uh, you know, 
makes a little bit of a um, spider web type fracture, but um, these appear to be reinforced we're windows. Not gonna be making. I see we're friends. adding vandalism to our yeah. roster. Claire, why are we? Why are we already lit things on fire. The cart. Just hold on. Maybe knock on the door. Fuck if I know, dude. I give you a little pat on the shoulder. All right. I walk up to it, and I stand to the side so that I'm not right in front of the door, and I. Okay. There is no answer. Well, last trick, I pull out the wand and I. Good idea. Okay. That's two charges for today. Um. Class, it walking off of it. It um, goes and points towards the door. What? Which door? Says, the door that you knocked on. Said, "Stop walking off about me." <laughs> I, val oh. I value your aura. <laughs> Come on, ten right. feet, everyone, bring it in. <laughs> well, um, this is seeming to indicate that this door is trapped. So, somebody wants to tell me how it is trapped. I can try to undo it. Otherwise, I'll maybe there's another way in. I'll step closer I'll climb to on see top. if it's a magical trap. What's that? I'm gonna climb on top. Okay. Okay. Good. Climb up on top of it. It shifts ever so slightly under your weight. What kind of um, roof am I looking at? Um, it is so it's it's almost barrel top made from wooden staves painted purple. Would a crowbar in one of the wooden staves be enough to pry it free? Perhaps. There's certainly the spot to get it under there. I will do so. Okay. You guys see Jeswaldo prying up and um, it's well constructed, but um, with a crowbar, um, uh, make an athletics check actually with advantage. All right. I get within 30 foot of the door, DM. Okay. They rolled an 18. You sense nothing. Um, when that happens, you you think, yes! You pluck off a um, large um, uh, stave from the barrel-topped wagon, and you pull it up and to look down, and you see that there is a nail and a string leading up and then down, and um, a flask of something that <laughs> drops off, and you hear kink, 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 as Whoa. if a thousand, or maybe, maybe not a thousand, but maybe a hundred pieces of um, glass or small glass vials are dropping within the wagon. And then <sighs> the entire area is enveloped in fire. And I need a dexterity saving throw from everyone here. Oops. Well, everyone just well, but just Waldo gets a plus four to that. Wee. Just Waldo but, doesn't need it. But, but he but. said, "Ah, yes." Oh, sorry. So uh, it's a Constitution saving throw. Actually, there's oh. no dodging this. It's just con. Can we oh. keep our rolls but change the modifier? Sure. Oh, thank God for that. Oh no, it yeah. was. Oh Ooh, my God. Nat twenty. I thought that was my nat twenty. Oh no, I'm right, so, so sorry. Rolled... That's a huge bummer. So I rolled a 19 I have a plus, uh, all right, 21. I all right, 24, nine. 22. Not natural 20. Actually, it's everyone Maris. except for Alimus. <laughs> 22, so <laughs> everyone except the mage. It is a, um, let's see, roll this out. All right, it is a uh, 10 to, or a, a 12 to save. Those of you who fail take, um, uh, 65 points of fire damage. Wow. Have it on a save. Ooh. And I will use, um, oh. if I may. I'm dead. Evasion. Is the deck save, right? This is a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Let me double check. Um, as the Limus goes down, I'm going to catch him and immediately lay on hands for okay. five hit points. Like a trust fall. Yeah, so yeah. fun. So how much was it total then? If we're for half, I'm sorry. Uh, half of 65, so 32. 32. Wow. Oh, That's oh my thing. god. Um, it was 
incredibly loud as well. An explosion, like you've seen some fireballs. You've heard three fireballs goes off go off simultaneously. This was this is still echoing through the mountains and in your ears. <gasps> oh my god. Uh Ow. Sorry, Paris. everybody. The <laughs> wagon alive? and its contents seem to be vaporized as well. Just while though you're looking at a crater in front of you. You you rode a firework for a second, but you made it. I don't know damage. Maris, uh, no, he, he he took damage oh, because he it's a con right? Am I right about yeah, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. deck save. Yeah, it has that, to be a deck save. Yeah, it doesn't so. seem fair that it's a con save. That seems rather odd. But I take it. It is it is written. Because if it was, what did you say? The DC was ten or eleven. Twelve, I think. Ah, oh, okay. The DC was twelve. Yeah, uh, Alimus is a bit <laughs> five hit points. Oh my god! <laughs> um, there is... uh, you okay, well, kid? Is everybody, what? Uh, ow! Oh. Amaris runs up <gasps> to Jeswaldo. Is he and... okay? Oh. Cast. I mean, no. Are Maris, you? Maris is gonna heal you. I just died. Uh, well, I'm off, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I got like, you. Dude. Died, died. Yeah. She got you. Yeah, he went down. Yeah, he took sixty-five. Yeah. And then. But how many hit points did you have left? How many? I, hit I had did fifty. You, have? you had fifty hit points. Yeah. Okay. So Wait, he's up okay, at five but, now. Yeah, I thought hmm. that Claire. Hmm? Yeah, so I will get to you, I promise. <laughs> uh, Jeswaldo did just sacrifice his beauty for me and potentially other things. So um, I might, oh, sorry. I I would like to be able to cast healing word on Jeswaldo. Uh, uh, please, please do the one where you touch me. That feels much better. Yeah, that's the one that I'm gonna do, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Cure wounds. Uh... <laughs> Maybe this JK, I did the wrong one. You know what I meant. Refund, yeah, Keep refund it. Off. Roll the right one. Good time for your prayer. Okay. Healing. Refund. Keep the right one. Thirteen right. points of 13. healing. Thirteen. Ah. Well, thank you. Um, now, <laughs> apparently, I need to redraw the, my character without eyebrows. Is tower still standing. I mean, was this it was is. this like a column of fire, or did it like you said it hit everybody? It did. Um. Remarkably, I mean, there's a little bit of scorch marks on the side here, but the tower seems remarkably sturdy. So, <coughs> was the plan to just destroy the cart? Because that, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. <coughs> I mean, I give Cyborg five points. What? I have to I have to admit that I have broken into many, many places. That has never happened before. Um, I hope there was nothing particularly special in there. As well, you could see for a brief moment when you pried it up that um, you don't in, even in the moment before even, things exploded. I don't want to know. <laughs> that, that that's fine. I'm just saying uh, you saw that strung across the entirety of the ceiling were maybe um, ten. Is it ten? Um, if uh. Let's see. Many, many flasks of alchemist's fire, probably. Strung across the ceiling, tied to the door handle. And... So if I come in from the floor... There may have even been a secret door. Who knows? <laughs> well... It happens, Jeswalder. Yes, happens to me a lot, doesn't it? <coughs> Who wants to open up the other door? Elimus, did you sense anything magical on that door? No. Couldn't, couldn't we just fly up yeah. to the hole that's already in the wall? Then my spell or, is now gone. There's. That was a 100 flasks of alchemist fire. I just had to double check. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Cyborg, right. we can't fly anywhere. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. There's a scaffolding, though, isn't there? Yeah, yes. Yeah, we yeah. can scale it. Uh, well, I'm feeling a little better, thanks to Maris. Um, I can go up there. Cyber, did you get your five? 
Uh, yeah. Th uh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maris walks over to Alimus and also casts Cure Wounds. I prefer a heal. Mm. Like, <laughs> or, you know, you know, like the one that gives you 50 hit points. I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, sure, 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 sure. Mm -hmm. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm not, I'm not. All right. Ah. Um, I'm going to start climbing this um, scaffolding. Okay. You approach it and you feel sort of an electric charge starting to um, Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. as you reach for the um, scaffolding. That's a problem. That's a freebie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I pull up the rock and throw it at the scaffolding. Just uh, bounces off. Huh. I step all the way back. Okay. So, <laughs> just just a question off the top of my head. Why are we trying to get into this place? Because Alimus likes towers. It was more of the idea of coming here for some research. But maybe someone doesn't want here for us here for a reason. Now well, I'm oh, yeah. the more inclined the DM. to meet the person and kill him myself. <laughs> I mean, so we don't know whose tower this is. No. And we've already blown up their cart and possibly. Oh, well, I mean, if they're upset about it, they're definitely going to be coming out. Setting a trap for potentially friendly people is not exactly a good action. Mm. Well, I mean, it did say yeah. keep out. No one here is particularly, like, friendly. I was going to offer him some tea. <laughs> you are a different breed. All right. How can we get in? Because this, and I sort of, this is not going to be the way. Well, Alima said there wasn't any magic on this door. So just, Waldo, how about you check it for the mundane? And then I will just kick it down. Um, Or, I mean, Cyborg could fly some rope up to the top. That was what I was thinking. Or, or Cyber could just fly then, in through the hole in the wall. And... But then you're by yourself in exactly. there in case what somebody's if, in there. What uh, if something bad happens to you and we can't help? Okay, fair enough. Liz, you need to come closer to the mic. What if something bad happens to you? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, up you go, Cyber. We'll find it. E easy there, Tasha. <laughs> Actually, you could carry me up again. And we have plenty of rope. Yeah, so... would anybody else want to get carried up? Maybe I'll do it. I'd go. Someone of a. I'm okay. Someone... I weigh a lot less now. I mean, you can see right through me. <laughs> You're all skin and bones. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, if you pick up either me or Maris, parts of us probably won't fall off, and we don't know if that's yeah. not gonna happen to Jezwaldo. True. He oh, can't okay. fucking carry me though, so I'm gonna need to go through the front door. Yeah. So sorry, I've got muscles. Would it be possible to take two trips? Oh, absolutely. What? Let's um, see what happens on the first one. Maybe all right. that's all um, we're going to need. Who wants to go into the tower? I think I'll wait here <laughs> with me. I mean, <laughs> right here. Apple I'll add it. Do you want to go? It... Sure. Okay. I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Let me know if you need me. There's okay. an Iron Man Hawkeye moment that comes to mind here. As yes. you <laughs> punch up Legolas or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, like, Cyborg yeah. takes off. Um, <laughs> he just takes and off. And coming up towards this uh, hole in the wall, you start to feel your hair stand on its end. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 back, 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 back. <laughs> <laughs> you um, back and hear a little bit of crackling uh, on the tower. Okay. So While, this front before, don't, don't set me down yet. Good. No, no. Okay. And I'm that's... definitely going to fire an arrow at the hole. That's so cool. But, like, okay. try to hit the, try to get close to the edges of it so that I maybe hit the building, too. Okay, yeah, you, you do. Two. You hear your arrow bounce around inside. Yeah. What the ah, hell? Like, hey, ah. you damn kids. <laughs> hey. Hey, Dan. Sorry. Arrows again. Um, I would like to reach out with my hand, not touch the knob of the door, but just get close to it. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, you feel like a little bit of that same buzzing of electricity, but you come really close and nothing really seems to happen. You also notice that it is an iron door, um, no visible hinges, however. It looks um, incredibly sturdy, and there is this sort of um, bronze, uh, Im large embossed circle in the middle. It's a large symbol. Um, there are a connected series of lines with different symbols at each, um, uh, also in a circle. I will show this to you in a moment. And carved above the door, you can now make out as you approach, is a single word, Kazan. And what do you um, think we should do? Uh, let's maybe try the roof. Okay. Like, maybe we can. <laughs> Thank you so That's much. That's two freebies, bird. guys. Don't push it. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I was like. Let's try to come in, but let's be really careful. Yeah, right, right. And so, so we will start a slow approach to the roof. And I'm gonna. Try to like <laughs> touch it with your like, little, yeah, with my foot toe, very carefully. <laughs> yeah, this is she's what got, the door looks like. Do you touch the roof? No, she's got rubber soles on, and we are uh -huh. slowly approaching it. Okay, <laughs> I'm like using but, my foot to try to feel if there's anything, any buzzing before we're touching. Yeah. Do you touch? Yes, there is. That's oh, okay. same for. <laughs> sensation. I'm gonna pull up my leg. Yep, this is not a good idea. <laughs> this is not a good idea. <laughs> We need to go back down right now. This is a bad the idea. The, the water is just a little too hot. Just a, just a yeah. little too hot. Yeah. Should I get? All right. Ah, Obviously, the only way in is through this door. Any chance is anyone it locked. is proficient in history? Um, want to take a crack at this Kazan shit? Yeah. Yeah, I can have a think about yeah, it if it's shouted back to me. Um. You, yeah, feel free to make a history check. 24 for me. 16. Very nice with the 24. Um, however, unfortunately, you don't, you've never heard of this person before. So we, hmm. I said, set Athelflaed back down on the ground and go, the whole, the whole, whole thing is just like one giant conductor. It, it we couldn't even went up to the roof. This part isn't. Front door's okay. That's good. Ish. What's that written on the front? Kazan. It says, please don't open the door. What's the orcish word for friend? <laughs> Fuck. <Water. laughs> uh, saving throw. It opens up. <laughs> I, know, I knock on the door. Could you, uh, you, you go and knock on the door. Mm -hmm. I, knock I right need to on make them. a dexterity saving throw as um, lightning arcs yeah. from the tower. Yep. <clears throat> that do we need to like do like a do like a semaphore shit here? Are you guys so looking at the symbol 19. on the door? Like, there's like. <laughs> um. Like, you save, so I think you take on. no damage. You just <laughs> mage. You just sort of <laughs> get away from it quick. Yeah. Yeah, I was sort of expecting that. You said there wasn't a charge on the door. That looks like a charge, Jiswaldo. I was wrong. Huh. Um. Oh, this looks like a riddle. <clears throat> what does? This line and. Door. <laughs> is it? Is it the touching? They was it the like touching that I did? Did it, did it? Did it happen right as I knocked, or was it duck, 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 zap? Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It, they look like people. <laughs> well, no, so what is it? How close is are you it? to the door? So if we go, me? Um, yeah. I'm standing right in oh. front of it. Okay. Down, arms, out. I did it in both orders. Down, up. Like, starting from one end yeah. of the weird squiggle right. and then. Out uh, and back okay. down. As you start and do that same thing, <clears throat> the first time you see the paladin moving her arms in a strange way. And as she completes and kind of goes, you hear a 
And then... <laughs> the door swings open. Okay, so that's my one smart thing for the next month. <laughs> well, that's all you get. You, apparently <laughs> whoever you owns it. this tower, owns this tower likes dancing. It's fun to stay in Barovia. Yeah. <laughs> it's ah, fun to stay. Catchy. <laughs> It's Strahd, everyone. Serious. <laughs> Strahd! <laughs> Inside, there's a flagstone floor strewn with debris and a few old crates standing near the east wall. A torn curtain to the south partially obscures this ves vestibule, but um, it swings aside with the wind revealing what's within. A five-foot indentation in the center of the floor contains four pulleys attached to taut iron chains that stretch up through a similarly sized hole in the rotted wood ceiling. Standing next to the chains are four tall clay statues. <sighs> there are more boxes inside, guys. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me feel real good. Ooh, Maris, you've got the right behind Raven kite on you, don't you? I, I do, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, great, wonderful. Maris is right behind Claire. Right behind you. I, uh, I will take a step inside. Do I explode? You do not. Ooh. What's good. what's this line business? This it's a little curtain. curtain. Okay, I will take another step. Okay. You can see what is described. Large clay golems standing next to chains and a five foot by five foot indentation in the flagstone floor. I look up. <laughs> um, you see kind of what was described. Um, there are at least, there's at least one other wood floor with a hole, a lot of it broken away. The flooring of this second and third uh, Slash first and second floor seem to be falling away in disrepair partially. So, any of that electric feeling uh, on the outside, on the inside? Mm -mm. Boogie, oh. woogie, woogie. It's okay. So, <laughs> does it somebody have some way of knowing if there's undead around? I'll use divine sense. <laughs> Okay. You do not sense any undead in the range of your sense. To be fair, though, I don't sense things that are... Behind cover? Behind total cover. We smash it's a slight off. relief to you that Jeswaldo does not come up as undead in your sense. Yeah. Uh, oh, um, you're okay. Neither does Cyvor come up as a fiend, so... You, yeah, you guys are <clears throat> fine um can i Yay. can i use my primeval <laughs> can i use the thing can i use primeval awareness or am i gonna just like sense all of barovia again <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's kind of how your thing works because you <laughs> i know but like... <laughs> you just get the sense bad and i'm like ah, so what is it sense again um sensing whether aberration ah, aberrations Celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead within one mile, not casting it at the higher. But it does. Do you choose say... one? Or no. is it just all of them? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> what's going on, guys? What's the buzz? Tell, tell me what's happen. happening. And it doesn't tell you exactly where, just that they're I'm near. Here for that. Yeah, it's like, it's like. Why should you want to know? <laughs> uh, yeah, speed <laughs> more episode. I, I, mean, I episode. will do all of that I guess show for you. I mean, we should do that <laughs> as like uh, missed opportunities. So the musical episode is happening, right? That's <laughs> Yay! What, that's what we're saying. Finally, anyway, finally, finally. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, so with this group, it has I guess to. I could actually yeah. like it. That would help. Um, uh. Because, I mean, technically, I am always in my favored terrain right. in Barovia, the way that it works. You have forest and mountain. Yeah, so I'm Pretty always much. in it, which means I have wow. a six-mile range, which is... Which is, and Barovia. just always, yes. Uh, you have not used your primeval awareness and not sensed undead in Barovia, ever. Yeah. So. 
But for mm. like Celestials and the others, I'm far enough away that I wouldn't ping the Abbot. Uh, yeah, here man. you're not. You 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 ping you you sense a celestial here too. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. As a point of curiosity, um, do these crates bear any external similarity to the ones that um exploded into vampires the last two times we encountered them? Um, to the point of being old, sort of rickety crates, yes. To the point of being filled with vampires, you don't know yet. I I would like to. I'll step forward and give people some room to maneuver, but I'll sort of reach out with like my other sword and just sort of like poke the crate a little, just to jostle it. Okay. One just kind of collapses in on itself. Um, you see maybe some old dusty bottles inside. A cursory investigation will reveal them to be crates of sundries and such. DM, Have this, you... this debris that's on the uh, left side of the tower, is that... Yeah. Does it look like it was from the collapse of the wall outside? Indeed. Okay, okay. So you saw inside to this floor, which mm -hmm. looks about like that, and the other one about that. So you can kind of put two and two together. Oh. Smart. Big brain. So they're yes. pulleys, you what? said. Yeah. Oh, guess is we can all go in now. Is there a way to activate them? I mean, they don't. Ha there's no mechanism that you can see in this room. What are the statues doing again? Just standing there. Ugh, Maris does not like the statues having been recently crushed to death by a golem. Are they? Are they who? Fair. Ah, uh, kitten. Fair. Um. Are they holding anything? No, they're just standing there. I Can mean, I at this point, I'm and... thinking we should like destroy every statue we come across. Can I like tug a little bit on one of these chains? Uh, sure. What and um, what? What's all the way up? Like, like following this straight up. For what it's worth, I have 120 feet of dark vision now. Yeah. No, you see, um, what looks to be. The chains connect to a what looks to be like a wooden five by five foot square um, sort of platform connecting to the final floor. Okay, so I want to know how we get this down here because that makes a degree of sense to me. Well, um, how high is the next floor? By the way, okay. Um, those of you, I, I, I did forget to mention. Um, those of you who entered, any magical items you have, magical effects, not counting ones that are permanent to you, um, seem suppressed. So if I pull out my sword, it feels not completely open. regular. Yeah. Does the sun sword activate? It does not. Just the symbol of Ravenkind? No. Damn it. <laughs> well. Hey, Elimus, you should get in here. You'll love it. <laughs> it's pause. your kind of place, Thank buddy. <laughs> All right. Okay. So as little time in here as possible. Um, Cyborg, want to up. fly up with a rope? On it. A knotted rope, please. <laughs> Yes, I'll be yes, fine. I'll help, help you do me. it too. So. <laughs> it's about 55 feet up, I believe. It's a naughty, naughty rope. We've got more than enough, though. <laughs> Wink. 80 feet tall. Sorry. Uh, so Wait. 60 feet to the top floor. I was going to say. Oh, all right. Okay. And. All right. All so right. I'll go straight up. Uh, you wait, fly I'll... on up and you see the chains connect to this sort of square wooden piece. Now, friends, am I flying up to attach the rope to the next floor or am I flying up to attach the rope to the wooden? Try the wood thing. Try the wood thing. All right, so I fly up and get up to the wooden hatch and, uh, or I guess, board. What, yeah. What, what am I looking at, DM? It is a, um, I don't know if you would call it scaffolding, 
or just a um, solid reinforced wood um, square mm-hmm. connected to chains. Uh, and then is uh, do I see, like can I move it down if I sort of like pull on it? You can or... try. Make a strength check. Oh, lovely. Uh, oh, well, actually, that's not too. All right. And with suspense, also added. There we go. All right. Oh, 21 was my first one. Um, even with the 21, it does not move. Hmm. It's not moving. Can I see any sort of uh, uh, looking around the top floor? Because it's got to go all the way up. So it, it sort of latches into the, the floor above me. Is that the idea? Yep. Okay. It's got to be a way to bring it back down. Simple machines. Take a look at the statues on the bottom level. See if there's some way to turn them or, or reactivate the, the chains. Shall we investigate? You're, you're muted, just Walter. Walter. You're muted. Some sort of lever or button or something? You can investigate to try and look for that. I'm so good at that. I will. <laughs> I was like, I will help you with the investigation. Or. Nah. Well, not Where's much. my character sheet? Where did it go? Can you do that if you're not proficient? Oh, there it is. I'm proficient. Uh, help? Um, you, I if, think no, if you not are prof- help, but if one is proficient, or what, if one is not proficient, may I still try? You can still do it. Okay. I rolled a six. Mm. Ooh. I rolled an 18. Nice. Not the best. You look around and you, all through your search, um, have not found any sort of um, obvious levers or mechanical devices besides the pulleys themselves. The simplest of machines only. Hazan commands you. Exactly. The um the golems turn their head. To you said golems. Move the pulleys down. <laughs> it's moving. They just Watch outside start, more. Um, <laughs> They just start uh, pulling on the chains and the square platform moves down. Good job, guys. You found the... Holy. Uh, just so you guys know, um, there is a celestial nearby that I've been able to sense and I'm not really sure exactly where. Uh, Can't you you figured it out. Country? <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> this one is <laughs> nearby. <laughs> Like, this is relatively nearby. I mean, I'm right here. I oh, remind. actually? Nearby? Like, I'm pretty or... sure. Oh, I thought you I guess were just pinging she the hasn't Abbot met... again. We're too far away for me to ping you the Abbot, are, are So you're actually kind of close to Kresk. Yeah. Am I? In this area. Yeah, you guys we're are. On, we're on the we're left We're within side of the six map. miles of Kresk. Uh, so. My brain. Well, there's still a Celestial nearby. <laughs> All right, shall we go up? Sorry. Um, sure. How many of us can cram onto this thing? Um, two can squeeze. So, uh, DM, as the as it lowers down, I can then fly Take into. Yep, the, you can. So I'm gonna do like. You fly up into the final top floor. Mm-hmm. Unlike below, this room shows signs of recent habitation, and although the place reeks of mold and mildew, it has plenty of creature comforts, including a cozy bed, a desk with a matching chair bright tapestries, and a large iron stove with plenty of wood to feed it. Um, It's really nice! Other other features of the room include a standing suit of armor and a wooden chest. Um, You also see empty in the vestibule here, vestibule here, uh, what looks to be a sort of like a wooden weapon stand and sort of faint flashes of light kind of occasionally dance around it. Um, again, and you see the rest of the mechanism for lowering this platform. Wow. Uh, can I go up? Maybe, Jeswalda, do you want to come? Yes. 
right. The two of you will be able to be lifted up. You stand at your guard, but nothing happens. Should you just take turns going up, yeah. the whole party can ascend without being assaulted. <clears throat> Alimus looks worried. All right, is Alimus going? He's still outside. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I would love to check, check out, out the suit of armor. that weapon rack. Oh, yeah, that's a nice rack. <laughs> <laughs> it looks wow. like I'm sorry. It, it keeps flashing bits of, you know, images of weapons appear. You see a long sword, a great sword, a mace, a morning star, a short bow, a hand crossbow, a long bow, um, a spear, a lance, just kind of flashing out through it. I I reach out and try to like touch it or Okay. Is is there anything in particular you grab? If there was anything that looked like either like a, a short sword or a whip would be the two things that I would probably go for or um a dagger also if it shows up. Okay. Roll a d3. A slash 1d3. It's a thing. All right, then. How does one roll a d3? Uh, just in chats, do slash roll 1d3. Lovely. All right. So. Oh, no. All right. Said unrecognized command. All right, the roll of D6. <laughs> Easier. Um, Done. I roll the six. All right. You reach out and <clears throat> kind of appearing in your hand is a finely crafted dagger. Hey. <laughs> and the magic seems to be dormant. Oh, oh. That's a neat trick. Oh, um, good job, Cyvor. What's up with the armor? Did you um, break it? it is looks to be fine plate armor. How fine? Um, it looks very well crafted. I want it. Can, can I have that? You start trying to do dis, uh, disassemble it. Yes. It's going to turn um, into leather armor, just like leather. I'm going to be so mad! Not again! <laughs> it, um... So, as you're you're doing this, it, uh... You notice, like, you can't take the gauntlets off, and you try to get at the pauldron, and it just seems stuck together. Kazan commands you to. As not you do say that. the word Kazan, it <laughs> looks towards oh. you. Oh no. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh. That work? Can... Uh, Can we. This hurts my brain. I mean. I was really hoping. Maybe Kazan. we could get someone to dispel it. It looks towards you. Commands you to remove your armor. It look you see it starts, like, <laughs> yank at itself like and you see the armor start to bend and he starts to rend and it seems like Oh, oh no 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 no, 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 no. Kazan says stop <laughs> This reminds me of a game I played once. Yeah. What game was that, just Waldo? Just Waldo says. says. <laughs> just Waldo says. Um. Hey, um. Just someone... because we're getting a little late, yeah. a cursory examination of the uh, room will show that there were once um, probably many papers, books, and this, these desks and everything, but. It's easy to trace where they came from. There is a large amount of um, burned, um, charred paper 
charred items in this stove. Whatever was here, whatever research was done, most of, not all of it seems to be burned. The one thing remaining is a chest from which a strange lavender scent seems to be emanating. Um. I mean, why stop now? Well, because if another fireball goes off, we'll all be killed. We'll all smell so lovely, though. Check it for traps. Mm, yes. Sure. Anyone want to help me with this? I'm really bad at it. I'm very good at it. There are you. Hoo-hoo. Yes, you are. Not kidding around with a nap. Where is the chest Morning. in the room? Here? Oh, dang. Yeah. At the foot of the bed. Okay. Um, right next to me. Seems <laughs> untrapped. It just looks like a simple like... one. It doesn't even have a, um, a key to it. <clears throat> well, it looks okay, everybody. Everyone I'm... get ready to kill whatever jumps out of this. Whatever strange lavender golem comes out. Um, I'm going to sort of gently kick the lid open with my boot and step back. Okay. It opens and you see staring up to you a lifeless severed head sitting oh. in the chest. Like, though it seems to have this waxy complexion as if it's been sustained by something. The lavender smell hmm, begins to flood the room. And you see next to the head are a couple of vials of some type of oil. There is also this glistening, oily um, uh, character to the skin. Um, um, would I have no would I know what that is, P uh, DM, from like research of like the ways make, in which it's... Make an arcana check or religion. Up to you. I'll take. Well, that's the same. Let's do, our, <clears throat> let's do arcana. Ooh. 23. Very good. So this reminds you of embalming fluid. Um, or not embalming fluid, since we know it modernly, but um, herbs for embalming, really. Or embalming oils to preserve a body from decay. These seem to be magically enhanced in some way. Some type of magic regent that gives them perhaps some type of other power. And why would they preserve just a head? Is that... Something else I would know. Okay, all right, all right. can we? What does can he we look like? see? Like, um, like, are the eyes open? Yeah, it's just kind of like lazily open. Can we see the color of the eyes and the color oh. of the and the hair? <laughs> <laughs> can I see what this person might have been, other than it, just now a head? In it's a, box? a human. It looks to be a human. Is it Mads um, light brown hair? <laughs> right. Um, oh, not the darker. Is it, is it Gerald? Darker oh, eyes. Do you suppose this is Kazan? Stop saying that. The, the, the uh, thing <laughs> looks to you, the armor. Kazan <laughs> says, sing. This is Strahd, be serious. It just Strahd. stares at you. <laughs> Kazan says, say anything at all. Silence. It lacks vocal folds. Maybe we should put the head back it on its body. It also presumably lacks <laughs> muscles and bones. Yet it's moving. Well, I mean, it's an animated object. It, it, Haven't it you move. ever seen Full Metal Alchemist? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, just Waldo. <laughs> no. well, I wonder if this is, I wonder, I'm just saying, is this? Magic picture show from my childhood. Does he have anything in its mouth? Yeah, in the village. Uh, I'm gonna take out one of my daggers and kind of try to like pry at the mouth a bit not like stabbing at it but you know you open it up nothing yeah. in there surprisingly limber though no rigor mortis set into the jaw um this might be just a head in the box a very fresh feeling head in a box a What's... magically fresh well, it's, it's, unless it's preserved. It's it's been it's preserved. It's yeah, but it. this is like. But why? This is extremely well preserved. Like this feels like it could almost have a body attached to it. That's a. Elimus, do you? Elimus is not in the tower. Oh, oh. <gasps> that's right. Elimus. <laughs> should we should we take this? Does uh, you know what? Someone I once knew could talk to dead people. Does anybody here have that power? Was it a small child that you met in a village? Isn't no. it a cleric spell? 
I think Maris, you, you know could what? if I, you prepared yeah. it. It might in another be day. a cleric spell. I believe it is. Do you have it prepared? I don't have it prepared. I mean, it's being preserved. If we have questions to ask. We could ask it later. Yeah. So let's just put it back in the box, take the box with us, and ask questions tomorrow when Maris well, can re-prep spells. Sounds good. Well, what are the rest of the containers Zip, zap, zap. Uh, I think we would probably have to have maybe a Limus look at it. That's, okay. this is beyond what I know. I wonder if it would help me. This is well beyond what I know. It could make things worse. Or you could smell like lavender for the rest of your oh, weird life. I really life. hate that smell. Yeah. Or I can just tell us shit. What about the, uh, suit of armor? Um, Kazan says go outside then. It walks over to the um, the lift. It's amazing that this thing is able to move when the rest of the magic in here is a problem. Oh, maybe it's probably fine uh, maybe up the, there in that room. Maybe the top floor is uh, like a, oh, a mat that's question. back on. So oh, if, if there's magic pr helping to preserve the head, then. Would it possibly rot when we get down to the first floor? I mean, it's still embalmed, so it wouldn't rot like you. Oh, God, those of you with magic window? items know that it they still don't work up here. Oh, oh. okay. So maybe it's just Kazan's <laughs> magic that still works. Mm -hmm. Probably. Oh. oh. If Kazan was a magic man and wanted to protect Mama. himself against other. Magic, he's got magic men. hands. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was like. Um, he's got magic hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then it would make sense that he would want to do stuff to block other people's magic if this was his home. A good point. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else that we should? Um, is there a wardrobe? Is there anything? Wait, a desk. Should we investigate? I mean, he told us a cursory uh, yeah. investigation, is so maybe we should. Is there anything to be um, saved from the stove, or did you, like, definitively say this shit's burned? It's burned. burned. It's burned. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's pretty That's that's pretty much it you, okay. that you guys can well, find in there. Let's just let's tell the armor to get its shiny ass outside, take the head, and just get out of here. Okay. Here you go. Cyborg. Oh. As you leave the tower, this dagger feels really nice. I'll take that dagger. It seems like a really nice dagger. You are offering it? Yeah. I mean, anyone, I, mean I'm... Uh, I would love a new dagger, especially since mine just went in the mouth of a bodiless head. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. A little flip and hand you the handle first. There you go. Ooh. Knife safety, everyone. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Cyborg. All right. And who's carrying the head? I'll tie up the box. <laughs> I found it. Yeah. Finder's I'll... keeper. Yeah. That I'll lavender aroma. At least until aroma. I get it downstairs to Elias. I'll... Still faintly I... smells of at lavender and other herbs. Um, as you leave the tower, complete with a crater, smoking crater to one side, but you have a suit of armor following you, and you stole a head. Congratulations, guys. Yay! Hey. Good run. A result. Yay. That's how you get ahead in life. <laughs> As we came out ahead. Ah. Uh, hey. I think that's where we're going to wrap up. Oh, yeah. Me. That's, <laughs> and that's we're done. the one, baby. <laughs>